Hello guys, Hikiyami Mariko this, and welcome to another indie game. Uh, attention, this game contains suspicions of blood and death. Play at your own discretion for the full list of trigger warnings, please check the ETO page. So this game is called Hummingbird's Crown. Um, it seems to be about a clock or something. The, the music, it's really nice. Very suspenseful. Uh, so let's start a game. Let's see what we have here. Adulthood. A word that everyone's... I like the... Wait, you can see the cursor. Where the, the, it has a custom cursor. It's, it's really nice. A word that everyone's heard of. A word that society constantly talks about, but no one really knows what it means. When does it start? What does it entail? Some say it's about having a job and paying your bills. Others say it's about coming of age and being allowed to drink alcohol. Legally, that's, that is. There are even some who claim it's all about popping your chair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's not that. All in all, people generally agree that adulthood is about being mature and self-sufficient. But, in a world that's full of immaturity, in a world where humans are interdependent, is that really enough to describe it? That's a good question. Uh, when a bird leaves the nest, it spreads its wings. Can people spread their wings too? Chapter 1. The Hummingbird's Crown. Seems to be very well done so far. Matry one, Brand's apartment, bedroom. Nice. Oh yeah, it's this Canaria. Oh yeah, first place again, baby. They are in, in a in a this <laughs> Come on. like 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 this court like like this nuts nice. Uh, in a in a this court. Call. It, it says BC Gamers Assemble. This this canary loves meat, footy beardy, and kudonan. Status connected. Okay. So we are playing like a game online. Ren. The gaming gods are not on my side today. What? You're full of. How do you get all the best items? Seriously, this game is is unfair. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip on the on the bad words. Just in case, uh, damn, damn right it is. Shouldn't the one in the lead get the worst items to compensate? Is this Mario Kart or something? I kept getting shitty at Thunderclouds, where will they get the garbage when I'm last place? Blah blah blah, you're such a loser, me alone and... I'm sorry? Who was the one who lost it after I mustered her with my Pokemon Pokemon team? With my Pokemon team, yeah, no, no. better not, not get sued by Nintendo, right? That's different. Hmm, I don't know, Kenna. I think he got you there. Ren, I thought you'd be on my side. Oh, boohoo. Shut up, Lonan. Seems to be a very close group of friends. <laughs> they, everyone laughs. I'm sorry I'm not a loving person. Um, taking advantage of the coming long weekend, Kanna, Lonan, and I decided to hang out via Discord. Voice chat for one of our usual online gaming sessions. How it is to be young and have friends to play only. I wouldn't know that. The good kind of sessions. Oh yeah, we're all losers. What do we play next? Anything as long as it's not an MMO. Don't you worry, my dude. <laughs> Who says the dead? Okay, uh, we didn't do that here. Okay, you guys suck it. We don't talk about the MMOs, Canaria. Oh my god, fine, you babies. What then? Oh, there's this game where no, I didn't even say anything yet. It's another RPG Maker or game, right? Hey, I play a bunch of those. What? What? What's wrong with those? M massacre <laughs> Oh my god, I hate these guys. It's it's like like a bunch of young people and I'm just this old man uh, Massacre, how can you read my mind so easily? Don't tell me what you're thinking about playing one Lonan, we just played one last week But it's good What about Anime Crossing? Girl, you know it. I'm so down for that. Oh my god. I can't stand these people. There's nothing wrong with the game It's just my personal taste in people uh, you know what? Me too. I haven't played that one in a while. I want to visit your towns again. Same. You guys won't believe the Gazillion outfits I made for my avatar. They are the cutest little... Hmm? Who's my saying this late? The boss. Ren, are you busy right now? I need to look at this. My hobby said he's playing to a writing contest. Can you believe it? He can't spell to save his life, that man. Check for grammar too, please. You're always amazingly fast. Ugh. What's up, Ren? Something wrong? It's my boss. Well, again? She better have a good reason for messaging you this late. 
Maybe I should send her a meme. It's just not you, Lona. Yeah, with the one with the with the with a cat eating avatar. Yeah, profile picture, whatever. I don't know how you call it nowadays. It's just not you, Lona. Something, something, husband. Something, something, contest. Something, something. That is totally work related thing for me. Oh dear, my darling doesn't know how to spell the word annoying. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> yeah, that about sums it up. Why can I see Canaria for some reason? It's, it's like, it's like, it's not unlocked yet for some reason. And what are you, her employee or her personal assistant? You're plenty busy with that, uh, memo, what you call it? The memo, right? That one. Yeah, this one really caught me off guard. The author made it about some kind of deja vu experience. I think he wrote a whole book about it. It's very mysterious, adventurous, peculiar. You editors and your fancy words. How is peculiar a fancy word? I don't know. I'll stop, you're gonna make me blush. Not video editors, dude. You guys are different race without your mean vocabulary. Look, where's the lie? I always know where we're special. Did he say the word lol? Ugh. What does she want this time? Just mute her girl. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I think I will. Uh, it, it's my mom. Well, it's it's her mom. My mom never texts me. Uh, Ren, uh, Ren, sweet pea, you won't believe who I just had dinner with. Remember my friend Camila from gym class? We happened to see each other at the mall. Guess what I found out? Camila has a new fit who's about your age. Why don't you try meeting him? I could set a date for you. Oh no. W will you please leave Ren alone? Kill me now, not this again. Ren? Ah, sorry. Better mute my boss this time. You go, girl. So are we playing something else or what? Actually, I think it got a bit late. Mm, that's true. Ah well, we can just plan a new gaming session later, sounds good? You betcha. You fool, one does not simply plan a gaming session for later. Set a date, Canaria. A date. Can you stop me for two seconds, Lonan? You can do it in a group chat later. Haha, <laughs> my work here is done, let's talk soon. My two deaths. Oh my god, this guy is so annoying. I will punch him in the face, like, not literally, but it's so annoying. See you around, guys. Right, yeah. After ending the disc, <laughs> okay, calling it Discord, it's very fun. Boys, should I turn off my computer and prepare my usual bedtime ritual? Chamomile tea and a proper teeth brushing. I hope in that order, okay? Yeah, I, I just say John. I'm sorry. Uh, did I send a memo ready? Flock of gamers. This kind of I, I almost forgot. Don't tell me. Wait, wait. I'm ready. Let me do the frost. Damn, I was actually joking. Okay, I'm ready now. Kind of the hedgehog. You gotta go fast. <laughs> Yo, babies. Sorry, I can't resist. What is it, Canada? The stage is yours, the dead. The stage is yours, the dead. Hey, <laughs> you will do one at home. No, leave us with the man answers. The canary loves me. Game con. Oh, it can be. Are those legendary game con tickets? Ding, ding, ding. Oh my god, Canada. I got that from a bro. He's actually one of the own planners for the game con. That's so cool. I know, right? But don't tell him I said that. Man. Anyhow, that was a bunch of storyboard in the games. Merrick, we'll totally go together. Yeah, we do. Hype. You're in, Ren? I know it's a bit sudden, but if we go, the trio will be finally able to meet in real life. Oh, they're internet friends. Okay, I mean, can you believe Lennon met my bro, but not me? What? How? They won't tell me I don't get these losers. It's a mystery. Whatever. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. There'll be a game booth for Gidget's game. Are you serious? Is it awesome or is it awesome? We gotta go. Hell yeah. Besides, it's a long weekend. Yeah, finally. Ah well, I actually have work tomorrow. Jesus Christ, can you stop texting guys? You're shitting me really. Boo -boo. Welcome to the world of freelance photography. You guys have no idea how many emails from me work during holidays. Scratch us, especially during holidays. But I saved this weekend for this. Go queen. No one should interfere in the first official meeting of the flock of gamers. They better not or I will commit murder. So Ren, well, it'd be awesome to finally meet you guys in person. Plus, I could learn something new. For I could learn something new. For once, it'd be nice to relax and be surrounded by things. I have to choose this because it's it's. Wait, what? What did I do? Uh, this one? Yeah. Gonna agree more to death. My to death. Oh, stop saying my to death, please. You think we really have enough time to play enough games? Ren, they have to physically take it. Some building, we, we try them out. I'm with you all the way, partner. Hard, I think. Oh wait, but where is the game con held? Guys, stop, you also saw this city, right? Yeah, yep. Galvin told me recently, opened the new building called Eon. 
Apparently his boss went to rent it. Why is that good? What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh my god, I can't read this. I'm just gonna read it in my mind. Well, for normal occasion, I don't remember it until last year. Me neither. I could be. It was a nightmare drawing that far. But anyway, that's not all. Aeon building has supposedly helped 300 people or 3,000 people. Also, remember how to get to escape. Oh my god, please stop. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, did I go too back? Okay, yeah, I go, I go, I go. Too far back. Um, 3,000 people. Oh, also remember. Okay, just just leave it go. Uh, okay, I don't write something. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry, this is too fast. Can't wait. Same. I think that's all. Can I check my photos? I guess this is the gallery for the game. I'm just in my room watching a picture of my room that I took exactly from this angle. Nice. Wait. Let's save the game just in case. This game is really well done, honestly. Uh, load. Oh wait, no, wait, that that's load the game. Um, so boss. Mom. Flock of gamers. That's it. That's that's all. Okay. Yeah. We'll finally see each other in person. I really want to meet them. Will they act the same in real life? I mean, we already voice chat, but. I just hope I don't disappoint him. June 4, Solstice City, Main Street. The Cloud Gaming Cinema. And this is the... What, what was it? Coffee Panacea? Okay. Hmm. Guess I'm here after all. Just one more block. A few days later, I arrived at Solstice City, Main Street. Which was like Anna said, just a block away from the EM building. It was only time for the flock of gamers to meet. It's a bit early. Should I wait for them outside or grab a snack at the cafe? Can't really enter the building through and through with my ticket after all. Oh look, there she is. Where? Those voices. Oh damn, they are they are both really cute, god damn it. A tall lady who could barely contain her excitement and a lanky guy smiling mischievously, it was them. You know it it it's I can't believe they didn't just like made a video call or something eventually, right? Uh, the flock of gamers, my flock of gamers, Canaria and Lona. My friends. Girl, oh my god, it's really you. <laughs> Face beaming, Canaria took my hands in hers and started jumping in place like a little kid. Hehe, <laughs> it's nice to see you too, Canaria. And then there was a sudden gulp of air. Like, oh my god, this guy, Jesus Christ. I don't know how long I will be able to play this game with Lonan in it. Like, gasp, could it be Rini? The Rini who has incomparable defense skills in Pokemon battles? So I can choose the one and only all Lonan Sensei Master of Type Elements. Why don't you see my puzzle solid skills in Professor Clayton? Seems to be very big fans of Nintendo games here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this one. Impossible! Without any hint kinds? I'm getting there. Girl, you should totally challenge Galvin to see who's up the most without any hints. Eh, really? Didn't you say he has a big record? Really, records exist to be surpassed, believe me. You gotta you got this in the back. Anyways. Is no one really going to say it or I'm gonna have to get it out of you? Lana and I look at each other confused. What? <sighs> Can we help? I hope you guys are ready. Uh it's grab hug time. Oh no. Ah, but it's good. Okay, I, I'm gonna allow it. It's good. Uh, I wanted to do this for months, my babies. I'm gonna I'm gonna screenshot this. Wait, how do I don't know how to screenshot in, in this game? Never mind. Um, that's really cute. You know what? Just give me a second to. No, wait, never mind. Just, just go ahead. Everyone seems so happy. God, don't scare us like that. I thought it was your bitter or something. What are you on, dude? You know my birthday's in December. The most recent one was Rens. Can you really blame me? There was a time when you said you wished you could change you change your birthday just you didn't have to share it with Galvin. Oh, now that you mention it, I did, I did say that, didn't I? They are twins. But I guess what? I only have made it. What? <laughs> my sights. And that, it wasn't that funny. Come on. 
See, if other ones example, dude, it's not like you to be such a downer. <gasps> you take that back. And so, or we're back and forth in the middle of a group hug, continued for a few minutes. Wait, are, are we still hugging? That's kind of weird. Okay. I always have my phone with me. That's that's good. So it's it's a gidget and the mysterious theory of Hoppity Town. Uh, EM building game code main area. I like the music for this game. I have the book. The sound volume is okay. I check before starting the game, but I, you never know with 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 these recordings. Uh, oh, I get a lot of those stands and cosplayers. Can we to take pictures of everything? Oh yeah, game con time. Let's go. Yeah. Like little, like kids in a candy store, we went around gawking and everything, passing whenever we found something interesting. Can I take a bunch of photos of the event, cosplays especially? I bet, I bet she cosplays herself. She, she has the kind of body to cosplay. Like big, be a really good cosplayer. Uh, well, let same interview people and their experience about GameCon, and he almost lost it when he spot his favorite gaming YouTuber. YouTuber? What's a YouTuber? It's like, like a YouTuber or like a VTuber or something. Of course, we made sure to visit every uh, it was games come after all, and boy, was there a lot of to see. Board games, card games, casual mobile games, VR games, and all sorts of computer indies of different genres. There really was something for every type of gamer out there, and you can even boy mark. Yeah. It's only had footstalls too, it had been perfect. And then, the mo you, you don't want to see gamers eating, honestly. And then the moment finally came, it was time to visit the boot we were most excited about. Which one is it? Oh, it's this one, okay. Game come Detective Gidget's boot. Ah, it's so cute, I had to take a picture, scratch all that. A lot of pictures. Oh, that's a lot of pictures. Oh my god, that banner on the sign. Ah, look at the even acrylic stand figures for sale. Well, butter my... <laughs> okay. No, I, I will not do that. Exactly. Shut up and take my money. What he said. Guys, let's take a picture together. Another one? A bunch of pictures and make going later. You know, this game is really nice because it really captures the experience of going with your friends when you're young and going with your friends to... To a, to a convention center or something and like, I don't know being friends and your internet friends and meeting each other and having fun with the same interest and I don't know I'm just really I'm a really sour person I never had got to experience this kind of thing but it's a nice game my one's screaming right now right there with you buddy if only my stomach wasn't screaming too I'm starving hmm? oh it's from Galvin seems the game that's finally starting soon Get out of here, it's past 6 already. Funny how time works, right? If only it went faster when I'm working. <laughs> anyway, bro. Really, I did himself this time. Oh, my bro. Oh, her, her bro, okay. A little bit time when I this way to invite a really nice group. Ah, that's so cool, I can't wait to ask them a bunch of questions. Right? Galvin, our hero. What do I do? I bet I just wanna go home. But I look so excited, I don't want to disappoint them. Ah, that reminds me. Ryan, I have to introduce you to Galvin too. He's a bit rough around the edges, but he's a good guy. I think you'll like him. Why don't you try meeting him? I could set a date for you. Ah, the, 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 the perks of being the less social person in your group of friends. Stuff. Why did I think that? He kind of not like that. Oh, uh, yeah, that'd be nice. Hmm? Wait here for me, guys. I'll go get Calvin. Be right back. Don't get distracted with cosplayers. No promises. Ah, <sighs> figures. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, are you okay? Lana gave me a few pats on the back. Yes, thanks. I'm, I'm fine. I'll go just check on my own spit. On spit? On spit? Really? Ren? Why the hell did I say that? Why? I see. Oh god, even Lana thinks that was weird. Just make the earth freaking solo me. Today was hectic, wasn't it? But it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Oh no, my, my heart it's, it's beating. I'm really happy we're finally able to meet in person. How we can do this again when our skills match up? Me too, I had a good time. Ren? Uh, yes? Are you really okay? Am I gonna faint? Uh, I... You look kind of uncomfortable. Hmm. I'm going to wash my face. 
be right back. Why, why am I always like this? We were all having a great time before, why did they have to go and make things awkward? I was making so many weird faces too, he probably thinks I went... <laughs> why did he think I was not being genuine? That I was faking everything, what if? What if I think I'm just an imposter? <gasps> that would be sus, right? I am building um, game con main area. Who's this this guy? Must be the, the brother of the of Canaria, right? No, thanks. No thanks to my combination of running while overthinking and bumping to someone hard. Would send the things they were carrying all over the floor. Hey, watch where you're going. I'm sorry. Oh, his face looks kinda of familiar, and that batch. Seems to be his part of the staff here. Honestly, what would you have done if it, if they broke? These things aren't cheap and difficult to get. Uh, I'm sorry. Is that all you have to say? Huh? I really apologize. What else he wants me to do? <laughs> Help him fix the things on the floor, right? Right, I'll have you pick everything up. Good. This looks like adapters. They're kind of heavy, maybe converters. I guess what in kind of said about the staff meeting, a lot of this was true. The foreign devs probably need them for the computers and monitors. Okay, it looks like everything's in place. Here it is, don't run here. Now, if you excuse me. Jeez, he could at least thank me. It was your fault. Although, to be fair, I'm the one who to him, yeah. At least this helped me calm down a bit. I should find Kana and Lana. And be honest with him. Better let Lana know I'm going back to Gidget's booth. Huh? Why is it almost dead? I'm sure I shared it the whole night. That Birkos player's card game was cool. Right, and I'm sure he wasn't selling it. Whatever, what should I do now? Awesome, oh, it's some random guests are talking. Well, I was gonna say the game they panel was just past the room after leaving the restrooms, and they say it was getting delayed. What? Are you serious? Yeah, something about the equipment and functioning or something. That sucks, I was hyped for it. Why well, hasn't kind of messages us across the delay? She was always the first one to update about this stuff. Chillax, dude. It's not like they cancelled it, for now at least. I guess well then, what happened? I don't know man, but there were some problems yesterday too. Something about their ancient Santa shiver down my spine. What? What? What the, what the hell was that? What the hell? Did you see that? If they have a bunch of shitty power generators, you bet your ass I'm never coming. It, it's my fault and the whole convention is gonna explode or something. Right there with you, man. Damn. Wait, she did mention something about Deja Vu's, right? So, something bad is gonna happen and I'm gonna go back in time and try to fix it because I can see, like, a few points where I can change things. Lana, I'm sorry for the wait, my phone. He wasn't there anymore. Lana? Neither was Kana. No, don't panic. Maybe there's a signal here. I still have a bit of battery. How, why now? They must be in the panel room already. I think it was near the main area. My stomach churned out some sound of electricity. There was a second, that second time. Uh oh, something bad's gonna happen. Um. Left and right, forward and backwards. Uh, sorry about that. No matter where I look, my eyes only found those of strangers. Uh, there's way too many people I can look for them like this. Right as I whipped my sweep from my forehead before it touched the ground, I caught a strange reflection in one of the TV monitors. I lift my head to the ceiling. Something small and black was staring at me, a magical red. Something with red eyes. Is that a crow? What? L lights are out. The flickering lights were no more. Darkness and of the Eon building like the night covered the sky every evening. A few voices protest a lot in equal manner of confusion and bewilderment. I felt queasy, there were vibrations under my feet. It's what, it was not exhaustion. A slow but steady cracking sound reached my ears and when I turned to look my eyes as well. The walls were breaking. What? And then the first pillar fell. What? What is happening? Uh, the mild tunnels from before turned into screams. People started running all over and showing themselves desperately searching for the safest area amongst the room. Out of my way! Ah! 
Someone here under the tables, others tried to reach the front door only to be crossed by a pillar or more by a brother. Help please, I don't want that die here. Help me. Like a hungry animal killing its prey, the unbuilding pack violently leaving a storm of debris, blood and chaos in its path. Wow. This game really went from 0 to 100 real quick. Uh, can I learn it? The only responses were more tremors and cries of people. <laughs> A sudden crack started in the dark, so I couldn't see what in the dungeon was coming from. Ah! But Sherlock, what hit me was a small rock, but it left a wound on my forehead. The blood dripped all the way down to my chin. Ah! Kind of long. And then, without any warning, and most of them were in me, a powerful vibration made itself known. It didn't come from the earth, it came from my clothes. What? The shine or whatever was changing inside my pants pocket made them a bit trusted, so I reached my hands out to take it. A pocket watch? Man, look out! Date? Who knows? Time? Who knows? Location? Who knows? Ugh. It hurts. Where am I? Is that a person over there? I can't see. It seems to be a cosplayer. Who is it? L... What? L... What? I can't hear you. Ren. It's, it's a raven boy. Or maybe a raven girl, who knows. Ah, my head. Ugh. What happened? I'm, I'm... Yeah, I'm going back in time, right? My room? Oh yeah, first place again, baby. Yeah, I was right. This, this is gonna be like a... Like a... Well, I mean, it, I, I don't have to be a genius to, to deduce that, right? There's a clock in the... <laughs> yeah. Never mind. Uh, what the hell? Uh, please, it's called being a great player, dude. Chat has nothing to do with being a player. Hmm. What's an I? Did that really not happen? When? Uh, sorry, you guys. Heard you loud and clear. Are you okay? You spaced out for a bit. I'm. Um, don't worry. Okay. So I think the, the easiest thing for now to do would be not to go to Gamescom, right? But if I don't go, they are gonna go anyway, and maybe they are going to die, so I don't want my friends dying, so that's a problem. Hmm. Yeah, I'm busy right now. I don't want to look at this. No way. What's up, Ren? Wasn't that your phone? Oh yeah, my boss. I can you already turned us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know this, yeah. What did she say, Ren? Was it something bad? I don't know, don't worry, it's just... I feel like she sent me something similar before. <sighs> I can definitely see why you feel like you're having a deja vu moment. Eh? Deja vu? Yeah, doesn't she basically text you for favors and more work? Well, when you put it that way, I guess it's just the same old, same old. Not that that's any good. <sighs> Another message. Just mute her, girl. Mute her, mute her, mute her. Haha, <laughs> you know what? I think I... Oh my god, it's actually... I'm back in time. These are... No, there's some kind of mistake. Oh my god, guys, I almost forgot. Don't tell me to the first you meet again. <gasps> I'll be right back. <laughs> you actually forgot, I wasn't even serious, lol. Now that I think about it, I have to unfrost some things after I play this game. Alright, I'm ready now. Check your phones for a sec. The tickets. This can be happening. Masaka! This legendary game continues. <laughs> uh, good. Just ding ding ding. Okay, everything again. Honestly, this is such a good game. I I'm I'm really liking the mystery for now. Uh Did I? Really? I don't remember. Hmm. Hmm. What the hell is going on? It was one time, okay. She confused that cat food with tuna. Hmm.
Are sure you're okay, Gwen? You usually laugh when we are joking around. Uh, it's almost midnight. I have to work tomorrow. Seriously? During the long weekend? I'm sorry to interrupt you guys. I think my final laptop's calm that got recently accidentally. What day is it today? Gam, okay, you're ready to get the rest of sap. It's May 31st. Hmm. There's no mistake then. Well, almost June 1 actually, but you get the gist. A sudden vibration in my pocket distract me from London's next words. Slow and steady, my hand covered the mysterious object from the confinement of my clothes. It's a pocket watch. Not just any pocket watch, one with a beautiful craft design of a hummingbird. It shimmered and shake, shake and shimmer as he was trying to tell me something. Open me, open me, open me. I couldn't hear Kana London anymore. Time had a bolt stop when the pocket watch kept talking to me. My hand traveled over the hummingbird feathers all the way down the cover edge. Open me. We are back at this place, huh? Uh, with a slight heaviness in my body, I got on my feet and observed my surroundings. The place looked almost like an autumn park, but a few things stuck out. A tree with a large fairy door, a, a pond with natural glittering water, a small clock with wings floating in the corner of the room. But most of all, a person with an otherworldly appearance playing cards on the tree slumped in front of them. My stomach flipped, I've been here before. Are you going to stand there all day? The moment he looked at me, I noticed his eyes were all sort of their denied. They were red and imposing, like a ruby or some sort of... Uh, yeah. Blood itself. Have you already kept me waiting, little bird? Little bird? I've beaten Demon's grip like 50 times already. We're really starting to get bored over here. Huh? Uh, or maybe... Could it be? Contrary to the disheveled feather costume, the man stepped up and approached me with precise and elegant steps. Perhaps you're a little shy? Who are you? What is this place? For a moment, he seemed to take aback by my questions. Almost immediately, though, he raised his eyes was replaced by a knowing star and mischievous green. Right, where are my manners? They call me Imbar, one of the sorcerers of time existing across the universe. A time reaper, if you will. That sounds really cool. Welcome to the hourglass, little bird, where time flies no more. Where time is right for investigating the past and assessing the future. Will it be a waste of time or will you have the time of your life? The only time will tell. That only time will tell. Uh, I'm afraid you lost me. So you're like a demon? I prefer to call myself a time reaper. Right, and this place... Am I dead? Is this a limbo? My, what a curious little thing. Are you dead? Well, let me ask you something. Do you feel bad? Dead? I what? What does that mean to you? Do you want to know if your heart has stopped beating or if your soul has gone to the afterlife? Um, but I think... Well, aren't you greedy, little bird? So I can say I dislike those who strive for knowledge. Just please tell me. I'm freaking out enough as it is. Mm, fair enough, I suppose. Uh, it's not every day you get crushed by a boulder, am I right? What did he say? That's not... Is that what happened? So it wasn't a dream? Oh, definitely not, little bird. Definitely not. I had the best seat, after all. What? Wait. Like a playful rascal, Imbar covers his mouth to feign innocence. You were that crowd. Right you are. But, but then if I... An uncontrolled shield made me shiver like a leaf. If I die, then what am I doing here? Well, well, would you like to know? I'm not playing games here. Did you do something to me? W what about my friends? Are they alright? Oh, well, there. One question at a time, little bird. <sighs> I regret to tell you that no one survived that building collapse. <sighs> Before I can say anything, Imbar holds a palm in the air to stop my outburst. However, that was only in said timeline. What do you mean? The you from this time is very much alive, so are your friends. Then that means I turn back times. How? Little bird, you want me. Have you already forgotten what I told you? What am I? So you saved us then? You gave me the pocket watch, right? Thank you so much. You flatter me. I only provide the opportunity not everyone knows how to use the talisman. Or as you like to call it, pocket watch. The fact that you did proves just how much you wanted now. You needed to change this outcome. Uh, 
Otherwise, it would have been game over. Ta ta. Well, thanks for the encouragement. Ah, but wait a second. If all the Pocket Watch did was turn back time, then everything will go down the same road. Not necessarily. This is a visual novel. You can make different choices in here. Eh? You already noticed some changes, right? This time your friend didn't tell you about the event using the Warwick Tangle you humans love to waste so much time on. Instead, you heard her tell you about tickets in real time with her own voice. I guess that's true. That still doesn't explain how the hell I'm able to remember the previous timeline, but not them. Who knows? He knows. He definitely knows. I guess he won't tell me, though. But that he must... Dis uh, time is money. If you don't want things to go down the same path, you'll have to do things differently. Time can't stop only so much, after all. The hourglass is not almighty. The energy has to come from somewhere, you know? Then what should I do? You seem to give me all these options with no real explanation. What the hell am I supposed to do? I, I really don't want things to end up the same way. I don't want my friends to die. I don't want to die. My tears kept overflowing without any sign of stopping about like I had a long while. Trying to keep the anguish in was no, it was no use anymore. Very well. Huh? I will teach you how to use time magic. Really? Yes, really. It's not funny if I keep all the trump cards to myself, ain't it? There's no harm in giving you some hints. Why are you helping me? Am I though? Time magic isn't without its consequences, you know. And bear in mind, at the end of it all, you will have to pay the price. It's not a charity case. I suppose that's fair, as long as I can keep my soul, that is. But of course, little dirt, I'm a time reaper, not a green reaper. I don't really understand the difference. You will. Am I gonna, like, die sooner? You will, eventually. But still, that doesn't explain why you reached out to me. Not the other people during the collapse. My, you're a curious little bird, aren't you? I am. Yeah, I just can't get it out of you. You want a reason? There's your reason. I find you interesting. I don't know if I should be flattered or terrified. Now, come, little bird. No use to keep crying over spilled milk, am I right? It's time to learn. Over spilled... Blood, I guess. Welcome to the hourglass, dear player. <gasps> He's talking to me, he's breaking the fourth wall. Hello. It is time I give you a crash course of the on-time magic. I hope you're ready, cause I just like having to repeat myself. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? The hourglass is a magical uh, space, a pocket dimension, if you will, where time stops altogether. Whenever you're here, time will cease to pass. Why would you need to stop time? Well, I'm glad you asked. And if you didn't, I couldn't care less, because I will tell you nonetheless. That's fine by me. Stopping time is the mind power provided by my talisman, or as the little bird calls it, the pocket watch. Whenever you touch the pocket watch on the right side of the text box, this one, you will be let here and be able to do a number of things that you won't have time for otherwise, like charging my phone. First of all, the fairy tree, this is the way where we are able to see her items. Her inventory, if you will. There are three types of items that can be collected, memory shards, mementos, and paradoxes. Memory shards themselves are divided into three categories as well, red, blue, and yellow. Blue and yellow shards are items that you'll be able to get during certain dialogues and dialogue choices with a love interest. Oh, there's love interest in the game, nice. While yellow shards represent more light, uh, blue shards are for very powerful ones. Whenever you collect two yellow shards or three blue shards, you get a memento. Red shards, on the other hand, are collected when you investigate. How or what you need to investigate? Well, that don't worry, collecting two shards will make sure into a paradox. How do you tell if you're even getting memory shards all together? Don't worry there, player. The game will be sure to let you to tell you. I'll make sure of it. Moving on, what exactly are mementos? Essentially, they are polarized pictures with a yellow or blue frame displaying special memories with the friend and the love interest. Memories that made a big impact on them, how fascinating. Now, this is the time where you probably are asking yourself, what about paradoxes? What are those? It won't make much sense if I went right ahead to it, so bear with me. Let's continue. It, are, they are like bad endings or something? Apart from the faded tree, the hourglass has a time point. This magical point will take you to a certain area where it has already visited the play point and quick games. Uh, Ren will need to investigate the different areas she has been ordered to find items that might be out of place. Each background area contains three contradictory items that are out of place. Whenever we notice, okay. And now the time has come to explain what paradoxes are. Much like mementos, paradoxes are pictures, but these have red frame instead. What do they represent? You must be thinking I sound like a broken record by now, but at least this one, okay. Hmm. 
upon game and you'll find paradoxes with new issues. Ah, that reminds me, be reminded that the time game won't be available at all times. You will only be able to play whenever the pocket watch shines at certain times in the history. When you see the pocket watch shining next to the text box, uh, press it quickly before it becomes dull again. Or well, you can ignore it as well, but why do that, mm, unless you are sadist perhaps? You can do what you wish with your time, I'm not to judge. Well, well, would you look at the time, it seems we finally reached our last for this tour. The loop journal for the devs didn't have time to add this to the jam, but look forward to it in the dates. Okay, don't worry. It's money for world building, so it won't take you away from the story. And that dear player marks the end of the story or tutorial, as you humans call it. Have you had fun? And if you didn't, the question was just waste your time willingly. <laughs> okay, this was a nice tutorial. I love me a good tutorial, but it kind of take me out of the story with the wild breaking, and I'm, I, I don't like that that much. Okay, I think I got the gist of it, probably. Well, as they say, practice takes time. Uh, give her a rest with the time puns, will ya? Oh, not a fan of happy fun times? Oh my god, stop. Does he even understand what he's saying? Oh well, I suppose it's gonna be late. What? Didn't he say time stops here? I know what you're thinking, little bird, but magic can only maintain a human in the oral less space for so long. I need to replenish my energy or I'll be in a pickle. God, why didn't you say it so before? I'll go back right now. Thank you, little bird. Do you remember how to get back? Yes. I just have to touch the pocket watch again, right? Alright, I'm going. So, back here again. This again. So I have this one, and I have I have my phone. Wait, yeah, I'm, I want to save the game. Yeah, thank you. And I have the picture of this thing. Oh, what? What's this? It's really cute. Okay, what what do I do here? I can touch these two things. What is this? Collections. Okay, I don't have anything in here. Okay. Wait, I want to. What is this? Memento Gallery. Okay, these are the pictures, right? Nice, nice. Seems to be a really complete game. Okay, you got this one. Don't freak out this time. I mean, I want to meet you guys in person. Woo! But Kana, where is the game's going hell? I know it's a long weekend, but... Mm -hmm. Here it comes. That's amazing, right? Yep. The conversation went along better similar to how it been the first time around. Kana went to explain all she knew about the AM building, as well as how the tickets she got from Galleon were from Saturday only. Since she had to work before the weekend and Sunday was too close to the beginning of the following week. Well, that's that's... That's where Sunday usually stands. The only difference was that this time we were voice chatting instead of texting. Alright, but that has come to me thinking about the best course of action. My first touch is to try and meet Kana's brother Galvin being an event planner at the Gamescom. Helping him could probably allow me to get a lot of useful information, but it's a bit risky since I don't really know him except for what Kana's told me about him. The other option is to let Kana and Lona know about the building collapse, obviously omitting the part where I traveled back in time, but maybe using some other kind of excuse. Lana loves mystery, so maybe a rumor will do the trick. He could think it's too stupid, though. I, I guess that would work. That's a, that's a nice thinking. Okay, I made up my mind. Kana, can I ask you something? Uh, well, to be honest, I'm really interested in about the game's gonna even work, so... Uh, this is embarrassing. Do you think I could meet with Galvin? I promise I won't be a bother. I really want to help out. Maybe I could even offer a different perspective that hasn't considered, too. I have a lot of confidence in my organization skills. Oh, the plot tickens. Uh, Kana? Ren? Did I see something wrong? Renny? Uh? <laughs> I think you broke her, Ren. What? Uh, ah, sorry, I got emotional for a second. Do you really want to help my bro? Um, yes, is there a problem? No, Renny. It's the opposite. Galvin is so obsessed with perfectionism that he takes it too far sometimes. Way too far. Well, I think he didn't do a good job at the convention. Because everyone's dead. I think we look for him to have some corner who can rely on, you know? He's the personification of the if you want things done right, do them yourself mentality. 
Well, he didn't do things right. I see. Oh god, what I have gotten myself into. Uh, but won't he reject the offer if it's such a long wolf? Now nah, don't worry, you're pretty little head about it. Leave it to me, I got a plan. I'm doomed. I got you this time, bro. Well, it was nice meeting you guys, uh, Gren. Shut up, Lana, this isn't funny. And that's how Kana and I agreed to meet Goblin the next night at Solstice Main Street. Will I really be okay? Chapter 2 The Bet. Okay, I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Naturally, I think I'm even more surprised that Kana's brother agreed to meet me, considering how busy he is. What the heck did she tell him? Renny, can't. Before I could finish my sentence, Kana gave me a tackle hug. Oh my god, girl, it's awesome to finally meet you. Ah, uh, that's right, she hasn't met me yet in this timeline, so it's no wonder she's excited. For a few seconds, I hesitated on what to do. Ultimately, though, I hug her back tightly. She smelled like citrus. Yeah, she, she kinda looks like she smells like citrus. And she was alive, yeah, that's really important. I'm really happy to see you too, Kana. Mm -hmm. Are you going to introduce us or keep squeezing your friends like a lemon? Firm to the point, a deep voice made its present with a single question. I don't have all day. Uh, she, she's taller than him, right? Kana released me from her arms, turned around and struggled confident the pose by putting her hands on her waist. Though the gaps within her left armpit and wrist, I could see a grumpy, slight shorter man with his arms crossed on his chest. No way. Oh my god, you have the patience of a nap? Fine. Here's that staff girl from the event I knocked down. Wait, where are the odds? Goblin, this is Ren, my cutie patootie friend. <laughs> I can't believe what things games make me say. Um, nice to meet you. <sighs> Charmed. Ren, this is Goblin, my grumpy little brother. Goblin saber twitch and remark. We are twins, Canaria. Use the precise words to describe our relationship. Language exists for a reason, besides. I'm really sure that that. Kara rolled her eyes so hard she might have as well traveled to the back of her head. Yeah, yeah, little twin brother, whatever. That's not. Moving on. Like I told you via text messages, Reds wants to be part of the event as well. And like I told you this morning, you can give me such a short notice on these things. I need to prepare beforehand. Besides, I don't need any help. You know I prefer work alone. This is a waste of time. God, you're such a... The twins continue to bicker back and forth for a couple of never-ending minutes. I better say something or this argument will finish when I'm freaking bald. Um, can I interrupt for a second? They heard turn around the same time to look at me. What? They are twins, alright. Okay, Ren, deep breaths, you can do this. I'm sorry for the short notice, Galvin. I like playing things ahead of time myself, so I understand how chaotic it can be when you're not prepared. Believe me, I'm more aware of it now than before. Still, Kana told me that the game's location change to the island building was a bit rushed, and even though it can hold a lot more people than the previous place, you don't have as many staff members. He's not denying it, so I guess it's true. I have to thank Kana later for telling me all this extra info behind the scenes. I'm surprised Canaria told me that much, she must really trust you. My eyes automatically flew to Kana and she grinned and gave me a thumbs up. She really... Goblin cleared his throat. However, I don't see why you especially are offering to be part of the staff. In what way you will benefit from your help? Um, well, you see... What are your qualifications? Are you an event planner or coordinator, or perhaps a professional organizer? His gaze scrutinized me as if he wanted to find every suspicious detail possible in order to slam the door in my face. <sighs> my head is spinning. Is this a normal conversation or a job interview? Yeah, it feels like a job interview. Well, nothing else to add? Um, I... Thought so. Now, if you're quite finished, I'll take my leave. Unlike you too, I'm very busy. I can almost see the rooster crest growing on his head with how pompous he is being. But I'm gonna save just in case. Hey, wait a goddamn second. First of all, I have to photo shot this, even this evening. Next is a long weekend, bro. What do you expect? Rain works. Wait, damn it. I just right click by accident. And for the rest of the week. Then she can keep doing whatever she does on her actual line of work and not try to meddle with my job. Besides, aren't all coming on Saturday anyway? I don't understand there's an interest in being part of the staff. You already know that that I work alone, Canaria. Galvin, I'm trying to help you here. I swear if you were my brother, I will have <laughs> murdered you by now. But do you always have to have such a long stick of your stuff? 
My boss came out louder than intended, so now I need to insert a couple of passing by turn to look at me with eyes like saucers. Ah, my cheeks must be the color of my hair. No, no, it's okay. Rain, you got this. If I remember right, can I also mention Galvin has a bit of a competitive side? I can use that as my trump card. Hmm. I guess the, the bet could work, but I'm gonna try this one. Did you know my boss always highlights my how efficient I am at work? So what? Is that supposed to impress me? You're expected to be a good employee or is that now they hired you in first place? Damn. Besides, my boss highlights my efficiency as well, and even if he didn't already know I'm a remarkable at my job. Um, well, but... You're not even in the same line of work as me. Why should I even care? This guy is so full of himself. What the hell is his program? My dear brother, don't you get it? That's just one roundabout way of telling you she wants to make a bet with you. It is? It is? Oh, yeah, it is. Yes, yes, that's not what I meant. Uh, if Ren proves that she can be useful to you, the whole game's gone event, then she'll be the winner. If she doesn't, because you still somehow feel she didn't make your job any easier, then you'll be the winner instead. This is nonsense. Stupid, even. Oh my god, Galvin, I didn't teach you for a loser. A loser? Me? That's preposterous. <laughs> oh, this guy. Well, I can hear you over the sound of my winner, Aura. Fine, I'll play your stupid bet. Hooray! Alright. Kana and I have five each other. You, redhead woman. Redheads are really cute. I embarrass all the way up to my ears, Goblin point his index finger at me. Me? Who else? To the Elm building. Now. Not even five seconds after saying that, Goblin storm off. Uh, wait, Goblin, see you later, Kana. Better catch up before the little sparrow flies away, really. But yeah. And so my temporary work as a staff member of Gamescom, or more accurately, as Galvin's assistant, began. Now, I started playing this game thinking it, it was gonna be a short game, but it seems to be a really complete game, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to play it all the way. Wow, it definitely has a different atmosphere when there are many people. Redhead. Ah, don't talk to me from behind. I turn around to face the culprit. Yes. Why do you look so startled? Who wouldn't? Come on, I'll show you around. Okay. For the next 15 or 20 minutes, Calvin gave me a tour of whole building. I had already seen it before in the previous time, but it was definitely a different experience altogether with a bear game boots. With bear game boots and the absence of a crowd. Calvin also mentioned the building had an underground parking lot, but only a select group of people were allowed to use it, starting with staff members. I haven't been looking at the, at the watch, I forgot about it, so I don't know if it's me. You, you see, uh, the the watch is on the upper right part of the screen, but my eyes are always on the down left because I'm watching at the portraits and the text, so it's hard to see. Um, and what I found out that every time we pass by one of the staff members, they did their best to either run away or look focused on whatever they were working on for different boots. Jeez, are they scared of him? Well, to be fair, he's pretty intimidating. And that concludes the tour, you can leave now. Huh? Come tomorrow at 10 am, don't be late. Wait, 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 just like that? Can I ask some questions at least? Why? I thought Kanara had told you everything. Well, not everything, everything. As the Denver notion caused him pain, Galvin sighed and mastered the bridge of his nose with his right thumb and index finger. Very well. I'll indulge you just this time. Really? Thank you. Uh, just don't make it a habit. Okay, let's see. Evan though, can I share a little about the EM building? I'd like to know more. Galvin probably knows more, tell, more detailed information. Can I say this building was chosen as a new go to place for the next game Red Evans thanks to your boss? Can you tell me something else about that? Galvin's expression did a 180. He was beaming and not in a cocky way. This was a genuine smile. Yes, it was all thanks to Mr. Axton. Is he your boss? Not only my boss, he's someone I greatly admire. Mr. Caster was our known event planner before he succeeded as the CEO and owner of the Just Do It Right Evans company. I have learned so much from him. Yeah, I can see I can see he really values that person. When he told me he managed to get an even better building than the last one, sure it was a rush decision, but once but only someone like him could have achieved a deal as good as the one he got in such a short time. 
you know, deals come at a price and it's probably why everyone died. Normally such procedures takes at least a year. I see. Is this the same grumpy guy I met? Uh, so is this building exclusively reserved for game events? In part, the game events are the main highlight of it, but it's used for technology expos as well. The UN building has an exceptional location after all. And even though it's only one floor, it's extremely wide. Well, two floors technically since there's the underground parking lot, but that's only reserved for staff member, game devs and special guests. Interesting. I didn't know the building had a basement. This could be important. There's one thing though. Yes? The decision to hold the event in the building was made in a bit of a rush besides the rent is. Although Galvin mumbled at the last part, I was able to hear him loud and clear. What? Ah, don't mind me. I must be overthinking. Surely Mr. Castle took care of the procedures before suggesting this place. It, it's shining, it's shining. So there's a possibility the building wasn't apt to hold an event of this scale. The pond? Yeah, the pond. Okay. Time pond investigating. Wait. A frozen solid card, one day one hand still can get used to seeing this it seems, while time is being stopped. On the other hand, it looks badass. Uh, okay, there is there is something in here. It's a music shop. I love the banner, it's a simple mascot but still adorable. Hmm, it seems a very special on the top of the Wait, that's that's definitely the crow sound when the building collapsed, which means it's in bar. I got I got one out of those. Uh, cinema? I haven't been to a cinema in so long. I wonder if there's any good movies lately. I mainly watch animated ones. The game station? Uh, on the local game station, I always get my console games from here. Uh, wait, uh, what's Gidget's poster stand doing here? Gidget's poster stand was needed. Wait, I didn't get to read that, damn it. But I think it's not supposed to to be there yet, right? The lab shop? An enormous pet shop, pet parents who live nearby must feel really lucky to have one of these so close by. As, as a pet parent, I, I, I didn't know that was a, like a term, honestly, but I'm gonna call myself a pet parent now. Um, it's really helpful to have one of those really close for anything you need. I don't have a pet, but my apartment doesn't allow them to... Yeah, tell me about it, that's one of the reasons I can get a, an apartment. Ah, I spy with my little eye the Ian building. It's really convenient to have it so close to the main street. I sure I'll find the reason why it collapsed. I won't give up. It's a music so I love the banner. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The bakery? This bakery has really good desserts. They sometimes even use special contents for them. Of course, their bread and pastries are top-notch too. Ah, I'm craving a chocolate croissant right now. This is the game station, the cinema, bakery. I'm missing one thing, but I don't know. Fire buildings? Solstice City sure has a lot of buildings, doesn't it? I heard there are some good restaurants in that area. I should check them out something to fill the answer. Okay. I can go to the cafe fantasy. Oh, I can move the. Okay, okay. This is this is helpful. Okay. Um. So, what is this? A vending machine. I wish there was more of these. They always have a really tasty drinks. Peach nectar and Pocari sweet are some of my favorites. Hmm. Wait, is that a Polaroid camera that kind of gave me for my birthday? Do you guys haven't seen each other and you give stuff? That's nice. What the heck is it doing on the top of the machine? This time point is really weird. Okay. Let me let me save the game. So I got all the three shards. Uh, so there's a possibility that the M building was an app to hold the event of this scale in the first place. I mean, game coming isn't as big as the E3. E3 is not real anymore, it's dead. Uh, but to be able to hold around 3,000 people is still a lot. It really doesn't look like he would be any trouble when it comes to space at this, at the first glance, at least. What could have caused the building to collapse like that? I mean, it's weird because it's one floor, right? And unless the the, the basement uh, doesn't have a good foundation, it shouldn't like collapse for nothing, right? 
And before it collapsed, the lights went out, so... Probably like a, like an electric fire, maybe? I remember the one function before the accident, too. Yeah, just what happened? Mm, excuse me, Mr. Golden, sir. One of the sister members called out to us. What is it? Is they have to clear him like that? We uh, just got the confirmed uh, game devs that will have their own boot. Let me see. The staff member had him a clipboard with a list of names from several indie devs and the games they will be exhibiting. I peek from behind Galvin's shoulder and notice a familiar name. Ah, it's Kit. So Fable now we have boot for Kit's game, after all. Could it be... Are you a fan of the deck to give you two golfing? Ha, don't sneak up on me like that. Now you know how it feels. That's so cool, did you play the game with Kana? Who's your favorite character? We're done here, you already asked all the game comes related questions you wanted, right? Eh, but this is a games from related questions. In a way. Tomorrow 10 a.m. Bye. <laughs> I like that guy, it's, it's, it's nice. Before I could say anything else, Galvin ran away with his face a bit red. Oh, I wanted to know what he thought about Gidget's name. Oh well, I can always ask tomorrow, haha. <laughs> Chapter 3, Workaholic Loner. That's, that, that's really mean. Gen 2, rents a barn bedroom. Hmm, what? Was that my phone? What time is it? I should have stayed up late playing with Kana alone. Especially if you have to save the world. Well, that. At least your friends, not the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's the camera. I was looking for the camera. The camera is on the top shelf. By the window. Damn, I wish you, you guys could see my mouse, but I don't know why it's showing in there. Actually, give me a second. I think it's this one. Yeah, you can see my, my, my cursor now. The, the camera is here. Okay. Uh, sure, already I'm coming. Grogi, I sleep on the bed and reach for my phone, which makes a racket on top of my desk. Mm, I don't have this number. Who the heck is Mr. Sp <laughs> Are you up yet? I heard Canaria playing with some friends. You should probably leave you now. Well, if you want to make it on time, that is. How is the blessed did you get my number? Also, it's not name and yet. How do you think I got it? From my sister, of course. Besides, I had to make sure you didn't oversleep. We might have better if you challenge, and just it would have been pointless wishing to remind you, and I would have wasted my time. Are you always like this? Like what? You know, like you have to stick up your. I see kind of throwing off on you. I expect you to be on time. Did you decide? Excuse me? As in through text. They have problem with that? No, not at all. It's just wow. I didn't take you for the type of texter. Do you use emojis too? <gasps> oh my god, you do. <laughs> what? Please ignore that, my sister just took my phone. 10 am redhead, don't be late. Yeah, I was I was kinda like what he he does use. <sighs> so Mr. Stuckup has a cute side too. With a smile on my face, I added Calvin to my contacts and hurried to get ready to leave. Gentle okay, solstice city main street. I'm so hungry. As if I had had my dog's mask come rumble with energy. Oh yeah, I didn't eat the last time too, right? I could have had a breakfast if Galvin hadn't rushed me. I saw a ring river through the whole street. When I turned to look, I spot a food truck selling different sorts of croupe, sweet and savory flavors all around. The salesperson rang the little bell a few more times. One, two, three, one, two, three. Crabs to go, get your crabs to go. Without thinking it twice, I approached the truck to admire the wide variety of snacks. Ah, they all look so tasty, I can choose. Are you quite finished yet? Ah. Once again, I take a back by Galvin's habit of approaching and stuffing people from behind. God, can you greet people normally? Ah, I say that out loud. If you don't take so long, I won't have to come to get you. The nerve of this man, I'm done being polite. Well, if you hadn't rushed me, I would have gone to eat breakfast and arrive at the end building on the dot. For a few seconds, we both glared at each other, made of us backing down. In the end, Galvin messaged the bridge of his nose and sighed. Fine. But be quick about it. You let us spend 10 minutes looking at those scripts. I'm gonna save here just in case. Uh, wait. Uh... Yep, boss. I don't know what's more annoying, not having food in my system or listening to this guy complain 24-7. It's not 
Alright, I love me some mushrooms and spinach crepes, but that's more sweet for lunch. What do you- yeah, well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. It sounds more like a lunch. I feel like having something sweet right now. Those two flavors, especially. I should only choose one, though. Hmm. Wait, is this- is this like a... Like a really important... Um, choice for the game? Hmm. What, what should I do? I'm just gonna choose what I would choose in real life that that would be like coffee mousse because I never tasted this one before I, I like coffee flavor stuff. I don't like coffee that much, but I like coffee flavor stuff But I don't really like Nutella and I know some people are gonna kill me for saying that but I'm not a big fan of Nutella So I'm gonna do this One coffee mousse curry, please Coming right up. Do I get like a picture of the of now? Ah, too bad. After paying for my snack, I had to watch where Goblin was waiting for me as soon as he saw the best filling his rice and sabros. That, what's the flavor? I don't recognize it. You never tried coffee mousse before? Coffee mousse? I thought tiramisu was the only dessert made with coffee. What? Get out of here! <laughs> Why do they say that that much? Hmm. Wait, really? So I'm not too big on sweet stings, alright? Tiramisu is the only dessert I tried that I actually thought was good. Coffee balances out the flavors with the bitterness. Yeah, I, I, I'm the same. I, I like like desserts that are not too sweet. Other desserts though, I don't understand why some people can enjoy food with so much sugar. Yeah, same. Well, I agree that some are just too much, even for me, but I love some desserts when I get the craving. Do you want to try this crepe? Ah, you will get liking if it's not too sweet. I thought Goblin was going to reject me right away, but surprisingly enough, he grabbed my hand holding the crepe and gave it a modest bite. That's kind of cute. Oh, it's actually very nice. Thank you. What is it? Are you mad I took a bite? I didn't eat much besides the offered. Uh, no, it's okay. I'm glad you like it. If you say so. So he's the kind of girl who starts people from behind and the front. Does this man have no concept of personal space? Are you done with your snack? Yes, a full stomach makes for a happy heart. And an avid assistant, I hope. Yes. Uh, lay off me a little bit, will you? Come on, let's go. Uh, with his hands inside his pockets, Calvin started walking in the direction of the Aeon building. I threw away the dirty creeper holder in the neighbor trash can and followed behind him. Okay. Wow. Hmm. The building made I had an entirely different vibe from yesterday it was finished, but the decorations and banners that were already set made me feel more alive. Here, where is this? Galvin handed me an event badge with the word staff on it. I grabbed it by the string and put it around my neck. He did the same with his. Hey, <laughs> now I feel like a true staff member. You are, temporarily, so I expect you to work accordingly. Just put more pressure, why don't you? Any questions? Well... Work-related questions. That's what I thought. Alright, let's begin. Just like we did yesterday, we're going to make another tour of the place, this time for a different purpose. Of course, we need to make sure preparations are going swimmingly. Right. So, for the most part, ensuring all the necessary equipment and tools are here, verifying that there are normal functions and confirming their game tips who are exhibiting the most less finished, shutting up their game bots. Very good, Redhead. You're a fast learner. I see you did your research. Uh, it's nothing really, I just thought I'd be first training before my first day. Hey, don't try to don't play yourself like that. When someone's giving you a sincere compliment, it puts the other person in a good position and you belittle yourself. Just say thank you. Yeah, that's true. I I understand why people do that, but don't do that. Okay, don't don't, don't belittle yourself. It's it just make it awkward for the both of you. This guy's smart. I like him. He's kind of like me a little bit. Thank you. Yeah, I know. I'm calling myself a smart. Shut up. Uh, that's what I thought. Besides, hmm. I know the type of person who eats company freely, or just to be nice. That doesn't surprise me, actually. The next hour and a half, we went over to the main area to make sure everything was in order and stopped whenever a van and look crook or someone needed help organizing the items they were showcasing. A few game devs even needed a hand with planning the best trade to attract guests to their stands. Or to be more precise, Galvin said they needed to display their goods more efficiently or no one would bat an eye at it. Yeah, that's true, that happens. Was it really necessary to be that harsh? I think you crushed their spirits. I was harsh precisely because they would have ignored me otherwise, and probably proceeded to be miserable when they saw I was right at the end of the game scan. Grant, there is a difference between being harsh and downright cruel. 
Well, I can disagree with that, but I add that the way you approach others is important too. Yes, people were more willing to listen to you, this time. But there could be other scenarios where being right wouldn't necessarily mean they will listen, especially if you don't put yourself in their shoes. Uh, being right isn't always important. How can you say that being right is the most important thing that it's in the world? After Galvin was about to give me a reply before he could say anything, a middle-aged man called us from the short distance. Galvin, my boy! But that, that would be Miss Arkster, yeah. I'm gonna give him the... Ah, so this is the famous boss. I'm gonna give him the Maxim Olympic Asus voice. I'm sorry, I couldn't come greet you before. I've been dealing with a few company matters. I trust you mean well. How are your parents? Your sister? Not at all, sir. <laughs> it's understandable with how busy you must be. My parents and sister are very well. You're very kind for asking. Are your wife and children doing alright? Mr. Aztec made her to laugh and patted Galvin's shoulder. Yeah, he's definitely Maximilian Pigas. I see, I see. That's very good to hear, my boy. Very good indeed. The wife and the kids are doing wonderfully too. I'm glad, Miss Aztec. Yeah, I know I, I, I don't have a Maximilian Pigas's voice. Just let me be. I didn't think Gavin to see make expression like that so soon. He wasn't kidding when he said he respects his boss. I see you are doing a wonderful job so far. Not long before games can start, huh? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Hmm. And who might this be? Oh, I'm... What do you even say? Assistant? Temporary employee? Wait, actually, I'm not allowed to work here. What if he says I haven't gotten his approval yet? This is Ren, sir. She's a friend of my sister and mine as well. She's been helping me with some things. We're making sure everything's going smoothly. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, indeed. It's always nice to have a helping hand, what did you say? For a moment, I thought he was talking to Galvin, but... Since Mr. Astor keeps staring at me, I realized the question was meant for me. Um, yes, yes, it's nice. Mr. Astor grinned, his eyes turned travel to his wristwatch. Uh, I'm afraid I must take my leave, children. I wish you all the best in this event. Thank you, sir. I'll make sure everything goes perfectly and let you know the results on Gamescom is over. Excellent, my boy. I can always rely on you. Now, if you excuse me, why are you leaving before Gamescom? Did, did you know it's going to be a mess? Uh, with a slow but steady step, me Aster headed to the entrance of the building. Eventually, he saw it couldn't be seen anymore. What was all that about? Something felt... No, I'm probably overthinking it. Consider yourself lucky, Ren. You were able to meet the CEO himself. Haha, <laughs> it seems so. By the way, your friend as well, huh? Ugh. I could really tell him the actual truth now. Could I? Besides, it's not if we could be, could be friends. Go. Miss Galvin! A suddenly yet when focus back on the event, one of the fabled novel games there free shelter with a mixture of panic and concern. <laughs> Gotta say that I, I I'm really liking this game, this visual novel. But it's right now it's feeling kinda slow because like I know they are setting the setting, but it feels kinda slow to my liking. It might be because I'm recording this and I'm I, the hours that I record a game, every time I record a game, I'm in a rush because I don't have much free time, so... I feel like I always want games to be shorter, but... This is nice. It, it's not the game's fault, it's my fault uh, for not having enough time to play long games. After a few minutes of chit chat, one of the table notes came to explain the, the situation to us. The boot required a TV monitor, a few adapters to connect equipment, a ranking the poster for the stand banner, and a large sign to display the name of the game. The problem was the venue team assigned to their bot had disappeared for a lunch break before finishing to prepare everything. And to make matters worse, the Gamescom event was about to begin. Yes, I wish we didn't have to bother them, but only two people, it's a bit... No, no, that much is a given. It's a very heavy equipment after all. They will have left before finishing their job. Gavin bit his sleeve and massaged his nose so hard that his left a couple of scratch marks. God, if he uses that much force, he's going to hurt his skin. Um. Say you should ask for help. Stay silent. I mean, we should ask for help because I feel this was the thing that caused the problem. Galvin, let's ask for help. What? We saw a bunch of people who are already finished with their boots, right? So let's ask them to give us a hand. No, absolutely not. Are you insane? It'd be completely unprofessional. They are not even staff members. I know it's probably a bit uncommon, but do you really think everyone will try fit only because we ask for help? I agree with her. I'll help as well. It's our game, but after all. Me too. What do you say, Galvin? Won't ask him for help defeat the whole purpose of being part of the seventh planning company? What what will my boss say? What will your boss say if everyone dies? Look, Galvin, 
Unexpected things happen sometimes, we can always plan for every single scenario out there. And even then, it doesn't guarantee that there won't be any issues there. Yeah. I like to plan for every possible scenario and even then, everything goes wrong. I feel that. I know where you're coming from, I always struggled with disappointing people myself, especially when I thought I had the whole situation under control. But guess what? I'm human and so are you, it's okay to ask for help, it doesn't make you weak. Damn, this 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 girl is hitting me on, on the spots, right? Did I go too far? Okay, let's ask for help. Really? Really, I'm Ren. Yes? Thank you. It's not... Um, you're welcome. Right up until Gamescom was open to the public, Galvin and I managed to prepare the things missing from the boot, with the help of a few game devs, including the ones from Fable Novel. While some carry the heavy stuff, others help with sell the monitors themselves, so they will display the image from the game. Huh, finally, I feel like I'm spending too much time with this guy. Thank you so much for your help. Not at all, you help yourself. In fact, I'm better sorry for the inconvenience. If there's something I can do, don't worry, Mr. Galvin. The things happen sometimes. What's important is that we were able to work it out. With the crisis over, there was a good atmosphere in the air. In the air. Uh, we're really lucky that the other didn't mind helping too. But it wasn't for long. Man, I'm full. And while this place is close to Main Street, the restaurants are on another level. Am I going to, into a dinner date with this guy? Well, it will be a lunch date, right? Tell me about it. I can't wait to try the other meals on their menu. I see you guys had your fun. <gasps> No one wasn't smiling any longer, there wasn't any yelling at Instead, the expression Galvin showed the venue team was one of cold, chilly anger. I wasn't even the target of his rage, and yet I still felt goosebumps. Malt, pepper. <laughs> what kind of what kind of names are malt and pepper? Do you understand what you did? Wait, let me explain. Your Nellians could have ruined the whole event. Will you have taken responsibility for that? It seemed like the scolding was over since Galvin started to turn around, but then a nasty whisper could be heard. It was just one book, what's the big deal? Oh man, Malt and Pepper are dead. At that moment, everything Galvin had been holding on burst out. Oh, it was just one boot, wasn't it? Who cares about a teeny tiny boot when there's so many already? It's not like the game that's paid to have a space here, right? It's not this could affect their mood and motivation if no one comes to their boot. Even if it was just one boot, it's still not a good idea to do a half this job to get it over with. I'm holding trying to, to fake uh, anger. Um, Yes, maybe saying the whole event was will have ruined was a bit of an exaggeration. No, it was not. But you will have ruined the whole event for those game devs. If it hadn't been for Ren and the other game devs will help us, we will be in a really crappy situation right now. Nobody said anything for a while, not even I could have interrupted that conversation. Galvin might have been harsh, but his words from before still rang in my head. There's a difference between being harsh and downright cruel. Please, leave for the rest of the day. I expect you both to be here tomorrow, though. Yes, sir. Trying not to trip over themselves, the venue team rushed towards the entrance. Grant. Yes? Good job today. You can enjoy the rest of the event if you want. You earn it. We can continue work tomorrow morning. Thank you, Galvin. I think I'd rather uh, enjoy the actual event on Saturday when Canon don't and come. So, but thank you so much for the offer. I understand. I'm sure both of them will be really will really appreciate that. Are you sure you don't need any more help today? Don't worry, I'll be alright. See you tomorrow, Redhead. Well, maybe, maybe just like he calls Ren Redhead, maybe Malt and Pepper are just like not their real names. Um, right after he said that Galvin turned around and walked away to check out the boot, but unlike the other times I'd seen him walk, his shoulders were saggy. Oh, 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 oh. It's time to investigate the pond. Fable Noble mascots, at least you guys leave the place a little bit. It looks a bit empty with more decorations, though. Mm. Gidget's boot without any decorations. In front of his one of the game devs, as well as Malt and Pepper from the menu team. Anime Crossing photo boot. Anime Crossing's photo boot it feels lonely with any cosplayers posing in it. Mm. What's this? Well, I kind of learn on Discord's avatar is doing here. They are even in a Polaroid picture format. Wait, this kind of moves when I when I put my my cursor. In. This boot, no matter the time, I can never see them. Seem to check it out. And if it's not a crowd, there's always someone standing in front of it. Are there game devs too? There's a star in here. Hmm. 
Is this one of the star decorations from the event? That's weird though, I don't remember there being any of the booths were just being set up. Hmm. Just a tail. Well, this place really feels so floody when it has no decorations on. Chair? A chair with a peculiar design. Other than that, there's nothing strange about it. Wait, Imbar's booth? Hmm, suspicious. Black monitors. Some black monitors at this time, games from Bustle was in uh, okay. Faraway boots? There's nothing that way at this time, just the entrance of the Elon building, okay. But I'm missing something. What is this? What's this box over here? It's full of voltage converters. It's strange though. Wouldn't this normally be in the basement storage room? God, I feel sorry for Galvin. I can't believe those guys were so rude when they were lacing around in the first place. Did they really just go on a lunch break? I just hope this doesn't come to bite us in the ass and start, the start bullying Galvin or something. He's grumpy alright, but he's not a bad guy. The event could really have been in trouble. In fact, knowing they neglected preparing the boot with the monitors and stuff, it's possible they neglected the equipment as well. What if they related the building collapse? It wasn't part of the stats in the previous time, but judging from what I've seen, could the Bane team have been involved in the incident? Okay, so. Right as a bunch of kids started to enter to the Gamescom finally being open to the public, I made my way to Main Street. That's when I noticed a couple of people in front of the bakery having a heated conversation. Wait, isn't that... Oh my god, man, can you fucking believe that? Or rather bending, uh, bending about someone. Yeah, figure what were the names again? Salt and Pepper? No, wait. Whatever, I should probably just ignore them and go home. I know, right? Seriously, what's the problem? Yeah, we're not his slaves, and besides, when we were even going to eat if we didn't take the lunch break? The problem is that this is a perfectionist and he expects us to be perfect as well, not to mention he's cocky as hell. Um, it was fun on stupid boot one, I'm sure that this will manage just fine. It wasn't just one boot. <gasps> Sorry to interrupt your uh, conversation, but I cleared up a few misunderstandings apart from Kitchet's boot. There were others with a few issues as well, maybe not as major as the kitchen one, but still enough to make time to deal with them. That's why a proper checkup after finishing tasks never hurts. Look, I admit Galvin can be a bit rough around the edges, but he's a good person. The word keeps coming, I can't stop. He's the kind of person who always recognizes your efforts and even takes responsibility if others mess up. Why do I feel so strongly about this? I just met the guys yesterday. You wanna save just in case? He's the kind of person who will never hesitate to help others when he's needed. And yet, he doesn't ask for help himself, right? All I ask is you don't judge him on the surface. Galvin is more than just a grumpy face. I wait for a bit to see if they're going to say anything, maybe even tell me to shut up, but they remain silent during my whole monologue. Still, I didn't want to say any longer about and be overwhelmed by my talk, so I just give them a weird wave greeting and return home. Imagine you're working for a company and it comes the... the temporary helper that's friends with the... with the, sis with the boss sister. I just tells you, you did a, a bad job, right? I mean, they did a bad job, but it's like... Who are you to tell me this, right? Okay, it's time for Gamescom, right? Uh, not again. Chats up. I have a message for my boss. The same thing. Or maybe for Flood, Mr. Spicy. Ren, it's a disaster. I don't know what to I'm going to do. As expected, the messages were from, from Galvin. What I didn't see coming to was what I read next. Uh, wow, there are deep breaths. What happened? Can you meet me at Main Street 20 minutes? I'll be there in 10. Thank you. Smiley faces. That's kind of weird. As soon as I brushed my teeth, Sammy came up my arm, put a decent outfit, and rushed to meet Galvin in the Main, in the main Street. Uh, okay, Main Street. Made it. Where's Galvin? Red. Right on cue, he appeared behind me but wasn't startled this time. Are you okay? What happened? My laptop. Somebody took my laptop. All my data plans were there, all the information about the event, the schedule. 
What's even worse is that the game the panelists tomorrow and let the girls were there. I lost everything. <laughs> Malton Pepper did it? Galvin held his face with shaky hands. I thought maybe I could call my sister, but then I remember she had a photo shoot today. I didn't want to bother her. He was getting short of breath and he says we're unfocused. I don't know what to do. I didn't know what to call. I'm sorry, I... Galvin. I covered his hands with mine. Deep breaths. Galvin closes as I concentrate on breathing. After a little while, his brain returned to normal, but I kept holding his hands. Better? A little. I'll get you some tea. I'm more of a coffee kid. Coffee's great, but I won't have you relax. Trust me on this. Alright. Wasting the time, I entered Nightmare Cafeteria. They are of chamomile, hmm, Hanar Grey has caffeine, so that's a no. What else do they have? Oh, peppermint and rubus. Okay, let's go with this. I never, I never tried rooibos. I don't know how to pronounce it even. Um, I'm just gonna go with peppermint. That's a good one. I brought a large peppermint tea that came the paper cup with a lid. And once I was back at Galvin's side, I ended up listening to his hands. Drink it. Galvin hesitated for a moment, but soon enough he took a good sip. Do you like it? Yes, a lot. I'm glad. I always drink it when I'm anxious. It helps a lot. I can see why, it's very refreshing. I like that it's kind of spicy too. Yeah, same, that, that's the reason why I like it. I don't know if he's going to like anything I give to him or I've been nailing the the answers. And say so like spicy food? Although he didn't answer right away, Galvin gazed at his tea and smiled. Then he took another sip. Yes, it's my favorite. Funny thing, though. I used to hate it when I was a kid. You did? When did you come to like it? Uh, wasn't that quite a taste like when it happens with some food that you don't enjoy as a kid but learn to appreciate as an adult? Actually, I was still a kid. Eh? How does that even work? Haha, <laughs> let's just say Kana's prank went a little too far. She convinced me to eat that chili pepper by telling me it was a different type of tomato. She looks like the kind of person that would totally do that. No way, are you serious? Yeah, I think she felt pretty guilty when she saw I drank an entire carton of milk though. But I don't know, after that I really <laughs> started enjoying spicy food. I'll never forget the look on her face when I told her I wanted to eat another chili pepper. She started crying saying she'd create a monster. I could hear a nasal sneaker coming from him and he was holding in it. In the end though, Galvin laughed out loud and a few tears formed in the corner of his side. Um, soon enough I was laughing along with him. Ren. Yes? Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, th this is really nice but we need to figure out what to do with the laptop, yeah. Hmm, do you keep copies of your files? Yes, on my external hard drive, but that was a stone too. What about Moogle Drive? <laughs> Moogle Drive. Uh, I was actually going to apply the files today for my external hard drive. Oh, damn it, what am I going to do? The stray gal is going to fall into panic again. Is there really nothing else we can do? I was thinking about buying another tea when. <laughs> More tea is not going to solve the thing. Try Cloud Gaming. Maybe. Calvin, does your company have a cloud backup service like Uno Drive or iDrive? <gasps> I mean, you probably need to share files with each other quite a lot, right? And even if files were deleted, they used to recover, so we could borrow another laptop end. Without any warning, Galvin tackle hugs me. Uh, uh, is this a twin thing? Thank you, Ren, thank you. God, I feel so stupid. I was panicking so bad with everything going on, the backup cloud completely slipped my mind. So that means you can recover files, right? Yes. A not silence followed for a few seconds, a few seconds in which we were still hugging. Uh, sorry, I got a bit carried away. It's okay. Shall we get going? Yeah, we shall get going. The feeling of awkwardness combined with the embarrassment didn't stop until we made it to the Aeon building. For me, it definitely looks like someone is trying to, to sabotage this whole thing. The moment we step in inside, Galvin rushed to borrow a laptop from one of the other staff members and typed on the keyboard like crazy. After a couple of minutes, a little cloud icon popped out and he was finally logged into his Uno Drive account. While waiting his sleep, Galvin double checked on folder name Gamescom 2022. The moment he saw the content, he heaved a sigh of relief. Oh, thank god it's all here. A bunch of files organized by numerical order could be seen on the screen, the names of the files having a distinguished which date from the games from they corresponded to. The parts of being organized, am I right? Yeah, for once I'm glad I am such a perfectionist. Uh, I can feel it when, when my last PC like 
exploded a few months ago. I, I, I was glad I made a backup of things. You see, my, my hard drives were really old. And, I mean, they are hard drives, not solid drives, so you can see how old they were. I was taking time Gamma to got a small note from his trench coat and started taking down a few notes from the files he was inspecting. I'm glad we managed to find a solution to this. That still raises the question though, who stole the laptop? Could it really have been some of the many staff members from yesterday? I mean, from what happened so far, it will seem like the most logical conclusion, but... Something's not right. Boss! As the demon conjured out of nowhere, Malt and Pepper dashed towards us with a horrified look on their face. I'd rather not talk to them, but it seems urgent. What's wrong? Oh, you're here too. It wasn't an accusation, rather, it seems like they were glad to see me here too. One of the monitors just stopped working. I swear we did all the proper revisions this time. It just won't turn on. Galvin was here to focus on typing or completely ignoring them. We even asked around to see if the other staff had spare but no dice. He's right, we even double checked but he was not wondering what's going on. There don't seem to be any malfunctions, not fear this lands. Malfunctions? Is this what those guys were talking about today at the incident when they say the game the panel was delayed? Wait, what about the technicians? Don't you guys have some help with installing the more complicated equipment? Yeah, about that. They pretty much disappear once they have installed everything they needed to. We're getting fired, right? We are totally getting. Don't be foolish, Pepper. Stolly Galvin shut down the laptop and closed the lid. This backup was done, he then approached us with a casual hair. No one's getting fired. Boss! Besides, I got a plan. Oh, it could, it could be this one? No, it's this one, okay. Goblin's plan went like this, since the game's gone, Evan has already started with divided the menu staff into three groups. The first one will meet and tend to the guests in the main area, while the second one will look over the game boots to see if they needed help. Finally, the third group consisting of Mal, Pepper, Galvin and I will focus on the monitor issue to see what's wrong with it. Oh, it's you guys. It's nice to see you again. We should listen under better circumstances though. Yes, I feel like we keep, we keep bothering you. That's preposterous, why would you be a bother? It's my... Uh-huh. Our responsibility to make sure everything works properly. When did you notice it will turn on? A couple hours ago, it was working completely fine this morning. Yeah, we made sure to test it and all. I'll take a look. Careful not to disconnect anything, Galvin examined the way cables were connected to see if there was a miss. It didn't seem like there was a problem. Until he stopped to look at the power strip. This is the wrong converter. What do you mean? So it, this is the thing he was fixing when we bump into him the first time, right? Uh, look, see the input of the level, you need a 2020 volt for this work to monitor and won't turn on because it needs more voltage. What? Let me see that. Me too. What the hell? This is the converter we put in this morning. That's really strange. Did someone change it? Was the certain one this morning was correct power supply? We don't know what happened. Yeah, because I don't think that the monitor will turn on and suddenly won't turn on with the same converter. Don't worry. I know you guys didn't do it, but we're going to need new ones. Can you get the spares from the storage room? We're going to have to check the other boots as well to see if they also have the same problem. Yes, sir. We'll be right back. Storage room? Oh, well, I have a storage room in the basement, where the underground parking lot is. I made sure to bring several boxes of spare items and tools in case something happened. I see. This guy is a planning monster. You really surprised me, though. I didn't know you knew so much about converters. I don't. Uh, but you just... Goblin covered his ass with one hand, his ears were a bit red. Before it even started, I asked Lonan if he could teach me a bit about power electronics. Huh? I mean, he's not an expert either, but he definitely knows a lot more than me. What? It's just, when did you guys even meet? Lonan doesn't tell me, uh, or can I either, I just want to know when you became such good friends. My lips are sealed. Oh, come on, boo. Although Goblin was trying to connect his ladder, he was doing a very good job at it. His shoulders shook enough to his trench coat and started to fall off. Before it did, uh, he adjusted and cleared his throat to get my attention. Ren, I'm going to check up the staff from the entrance to see if they are doing alright. Uh, should I go with you? Don't worry, our 25 minutes stops. Okay. Something's gonna happen, right? Something's very wrong about this. Malt and Pepper look really chuck. I don't think they were lying. But this means someone deliberately changed the converters. Thankfully, it wasn't one with higher voltage, still. Wrong with Tron, they could have even caused a fire, yeah. 
but who could even do that, and why it doesn't make any sense? Is this even related to the building's collapse? I feel like I'm missing something. Am I overthinking this? We're back. Salt pepper. My name's Malt. Malt. Why does everyone keep doing the joke? It's not funny, guys. <laughs> so they are really called Malt and Pepper, huh? Sorry, I couldn't resist. <sighs> Once I stopped joking around, I noticed he was carrying a small box with a couple of converters. That's less than I thought. Weren't there any more spares? Uh, it's not that. We actually gave a few to the other boots because it seemed like they were having similar problems. Uh, that makes sense. By the way, isn't the boss with you? Galvi, he went to check on the other guy's staffs at the entrance. He'll be right back. I see, okay, we'll get this replaced then. Hmm. The minutes are turned on. Nice. Ah, it's fixed. Thank you so much. Pepper smiled when Mouth showed a thumbs up. I sighed relief. Trying not to disturb them, the three of us made our way to the side of the so the Fable Noble devs could focus on setting up their game. God, somebody say something. Galvin, come back. Um, Ryan, that's your name, right? Yes, that's me. That came up a bit too loud. We actually want to thank you for what you said yesterday. Huh? You were right, we made a mistake. No, several mistakes, and instead of owning up, they just, we just complained. Like the entitled millennials you are. Yes, we also want to apologize to the boss too. He didn't hear us, but we still, well... It's a good start. I'm sure Galvin thinks so too. Make sure you guys support each other from now on, okay? For sure. Remember, if you're working in something, it doesn't matter what it is. Well, if you have a boss, of course. The boss is nothing without the workers, and the workers are nothing without the boss. It's, it's symbiotic, right? You need to help each other. Uh, you have to tell me twice. Mal rubbed the under of his nose with his fingers fingers. His cheeks were a little red. You should be more honest, Sal. Not you two. <laughs> I hope you guys can work together as a team now. Don't you think so? You're right. With how many times it has happened already, I didn't have to turn around to know who was behind me. Boss. Seems like things at the entrance are going well. Did you manage to replace the converter? Yes, thank god. We have also a few converters at the airports that needed a few. Luckily, most game devs didn't need spares. I see, thank you. You did a great job. Boss, Pepper and I, uh, we're really sorry. We made a lot of mistakes and even talked behind your back. That wasn't okay. Yes, we sincerely apologize. We should have made up sure everything was in peak condition before we... I mean... Look what happened today. We were here and didn't even notice the converters weren't compatible with laptops and monitors. The sound of Calvin's step echoed on the floor until he stopped in front of Malt and Pepper and placed a hat on one of their shoulders. I appreciate it, guys. I am sorry too, I went a bit overboard and was too harsh. Didn't even give you a chance to explain yourselves. It'll be a bit tricky now since we'll still have a lot to do for the event, but I think we should have a proper conversation after the game's when it's officially over. I'm all up for that. Yeah, definitely. Besides, I'd like to hear your suggestions about how we could improve proper working procedure. I'm beginning to trust each other more. That's a bit cheesy, boss. I agree, though. Cheesy? Uh, maybe meeting Graham has softened him up a little. Not that you mention it. Shut up and get to work. Yes, boss. Like a pair of kids, Malt and Pepper loud and way before disappearing into Gamescom's main area. At one point, Galvin also sneaked out to speak to Fable's novel game devs. He looked a bit more energetic than usual and his ears had turned red. I guess he's still a bit embarrassed. Well, so am I, to be fair. I guess that's... To the point. This again? Oh, this... It's food in here? It's good that puts Ah, everything's so cute. I want to be an acrylic stand figure. Galvin seems to like the game too. I wonder what his favorite character is. Hmm. Wait, is that a burger? Oh man, I'm hungry right now. Why do you have to show me this? Who the hell will eat this here? This is not a restaurant. Okay, what is this? This pigeon is so cute. Wait, I think I recognize it. Isn't one of the new Fable novels mascots? The Froggy and the Lil all have new sibling now. What about the moon? What about the air balloon? Wow, it looks so much like an air balloon. That's really neat. I wonder how they made it seem like he was floating. Uh, th there's something in here. It's a fable mascot, the frog and the owl. I start to kill every time I see them. I wonder if the plushes are for sale. Hmm, wait. 
What's that sticking out from the bags? Wait, what? Isn't this like magical? I don't think Imbar mentioned his pocket watch having a doppelganger. It must be fake. Just a normal pillar. Yeah. Not so normal when it falls over you, right? There's an hourglass in here. That one's interesting looking table or chair or table chair. It makes me really curious what kind of game are they displaying over here. I want to give it a try later if I can. Uh, wasn't... Wait, isn't that... I thought it looked like a bit of my kitchen, but it's just like a normal hourglass. Still, what the hell is an hourglass doing in a place like this? It doesn't really fit the theme of this game. And then... Yes, it's, it's all that. I guess that's that. Yeah, I wish. Nothing from the way Malt and Pepper were acting, but just there today today so just they had anything to do with the incident. No, they just happened to be frustrated by Galpin, but seeing how afraid they were to lose their jobs, I really thought they would go as far as wanting to cast an accidental powered outrage. Yeah, same. That means that the person who replaced the converters is still out here. I still don't know if they are related to overall malfunctions from the previous timeline or if that happened in this timeline related to those. It's becoming apparent that something or someone caused an electricity overload during this event. But how did it lead to the building collapsing? Damn it, what am I missing? What is that, that I am not seeing? You have to go to the underground. And then, it was there again. A chill down my spine. A suffocating energy that odd sensation of having eyes in the back of my skull. Something was wrong. Something was very wrong. And there is something I am not seeing too. I am not going to ignore it this time. The sudden question has made me almost lose my balance but I managed to turn around to see what was amiss. Nothing. Just like that, the feeling was gone. Ren, are you okay? Ah yeah, sorry. I special deal. What is it? Well, I know you said you wanted to enjoy the event with Kana Lona as a guest, but will you be alright with you knowing, you know, patrolling around the boots as a fellow staff team member? God, I can't believe this is the same grumpy person from a few days ago. Sure. After the end building closed for the day, Galen offered to take me home. I'm sorry you had to stay until closing time, Ren, and thank you. It's okay, I don't mind. Plus, if anything, it was nice to see that you didn't hesitate to ask for help this time. Kana will be overjoyed to hear about this. Uh, give me a break. <laughs> for a couple of minutes, we walked into comfortable silence. The falling autumn leaves rustling the protest on the road shows with the village step with the... And, uh, I'm sorry, I was choking for a second. A nice breeze with a soft whistle made the nearby trees Sway as if they were weaving. It was like a sun. And Galvin and I were the only spectators. You know, if there's anything ever bothered you, I want to be there for you too. I stopped walking. Galvin didn't seem to expect that as almost bumped into me. Tomorrow is the idea and bowling collapses. From what Galvin told me before, it's very new and it seems like there wasn't enough time to check if it was in peak condition to hold an event like Gamescom. Ren? Just, just tell him, just tell him. There's also the matter of the malfunctions on the previous timeline. I remember overhearing some of the guests about how panel was delayed because the equipment wasn't working properly. My phone's battery died too, even when I made sure to share it the day before. And then the power outage happened. Hey Ren, but is any of this related to what happened today with the voltage converters? I mean... I changed things by meeting with Galvin, but would that mean those events from the previous time will be different this time around? I feel like I barely know anything. Ren, hmm? what's wrong? Why are you making that face? Uh, should I tell Galvin about the time loops? But he won't believe me unless I have any sort of proof. I won't even believe myself. Wait, maybe those momentous thingies Inbar mentioned? They are supposed to represent some of Galvin's memories from different timelines, right? But would that really help? What if he doesn't trust me? What if he thinks I'm insane? No, it's not enough. If I don't show him both of the momentous he'll really think I'm crazy. Sorry, Galvin, I guess I'm just a little tired. Well, I didn't get both of the mementos. Thank you for worrying about me. It's nice to know that you got each other's back now. Yes, I guess we did move around a lot, didn't we? Be sure to get a good night's sleep, okay? Go straight to bed. Yeah, but dinner... Eat a light meal then, but don't stay up all night playing games with Hannah Lona, you hear me? Busted. Haha, <laughs> okay. Good. I oh, know I did something wrong. The rest of the world must talk about some games, but we have seen the day. 
Chapter 5. Bittersweet Memories. Hmm. Okay, it's time to... It's time to do it. I can't sleep a wink. My Ibex must be a, a size of a freaking raccoon. Is it Calvin? Can I learn and try today? We're finally meeting in person. I hope everything goes well. Our moments bring the trumpets. It's a day, guys. I can't really contain myself from the running all over the place. Blah, 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 blah. Big same. I'm so happy right now. Insert give you know which one. Uh, what the hell, little mouth? This, this is like my fix, fix. Give some my god, little mouth. XD. I can't meet you guys right there. No fair, you guys. The first with me. Boo -boo. Excuse me. We spent a few minutes together. Tops. Besides to meet Galvin with that, that's a different how. Boo, no you too, Rini. I said we'll find a uh, girl, you know, for all this lost on the secrets. So have a girl meeting sometime. You mean it's a male. Whatever. Wait, I'm gonna sit just real quick. Uh, gonna get ready now, see you soon, guys. Indeed, we shall meet the deaths. Don't miss me too much. Uh, okay. <sighs> I hope it's all natural enough. What else I was I even going to say? I really want to see them again, I really do, but we're all gonna die again. Ugh. Can I learn? On? Yeah, that must be really traumatic. I can give up now. Ah, god, that startled me. Did I forgot to say something? Mr. Spicy. Ren, have you already gone out of the game zone? Not yet. I was about to head out the way. Excellent. Meet me at Main Street. Eh, as in right now? Yes. I want to give you something. <gasps> now that you made me curious, what is it? You better hurry up if you want to find out. Oh my god, I can't believe you that emoji too. Okay, I'll be right there. It's it's the emoji the other guy uses, right? Wait. After making sure I look decent enough, I grabbed my bag and keys and went outside. Calvin? Where is he? Wait, I want to check this thing. I have the uh, red a crowd found in investigation, gidget cluster, a blurry paradox. I do you mean a blurry paradox? Polaroid camera, a blurry memento. What's that like? A, like a flam or something? Blue memory shards with Galvin, one of three collected. Discord profile pics. For some reason, there seems to be a bunch of Polaroid things. Star decoration, a blurry paradox, a caged bird, then a free bird. Box of converters, a hamburger, and a fake pocket watch. I also have blurry paradox and an hourglass found in the investigation. Wait. And the memento color is this one? Okay, so far so good. Wait, it, it has descriptions, right? It has descriptions. I want to read the descriptions. And I, I thought it was descriptions because of this box, but it seems it doesn't have any descriptions. Never mind. Uh, from behind a warm paper cup, touch my cheek, the hand holding it looked familiar. Surprise! It smells really good. Is it raspberry tea? Close, it's raspberry chamomile. I thought you like it. I got it a couple of minutes ago, so it couldn't be too hot to drink now. Ah, you really talk of everything. I took a big sip and the warmness of the caress my throat. It's lovely. I never heard this before, but I definitely will from now on. Thank you, Galvin. Do you feel a little better? A lot, haha. <laughs> I wish I could have bought you one yesterday. You said you were fine, but you look pretty anxious. So he noticed. It's okay, I'm fine. I'm feeling much better now. Thank you, Galvin. Galvin took my hands and his and looked me right in the eye. Are you sure? Yes. All right. He didn't look convinced, but I figured he didn't want to push me, so he didn't say anything else until I finished my tea. I'm sorry, Galvin. I wish I could tell you the truth. I'll just have to make sure not to leave your side and do my best to save as many people as I can. I mean, call, call me a bad person if you want, but just saving Galvin and my friends and myself, it's enough. And maybe, maybe, malt and pepper. Right, Gana, she's here. 
Ren, oh my god, I was getting worried already. Guys, wait. What do you mean you were worried? You didn't receive our messages? Yeah, we tried calling you too. You did? I opened my bag and tried to feel my way through my contest. It wasn't there. I forgot my phone at home. Well, whatever. I'm glad you're okay. Seems like I was nothing to worry about. Can I look at Galvin and smile? Isn't that right, bro? I have no idea what you're talking about, Canaria. Sure you don't. Anyhow, here's your ticket, Rini. Thanks. Not sure if you even need it though, seeing that you're not part of Galvin's team, huh? Galvin sighed and matches the bridge of his nose as I hang to a few times already but I couldn't help noticing. His ears were a bit red. Uh-huh, what is this? Not even denying it, bro? Wait, Kana, the staff member thing is only temporary, remember? And I was really looking forward to meeting you, but... Um, did I say something wrong? Rainy. But Kana, Lona lead to be there. Flock of gamers was once again sharing a group hug. Finally, after all this time. But she's really kinda tall. I'm so happy. Dude, control yourself, you're going to get snow all over her hair. But you're crying too, Kana. Shut up, I'm not. Haha. <laughs> I squeezed them back as hard as I could. I miss you guys. From the top of Kana's shoulder, I noticed Galvin smiling at me. It's still a bit early, why don't you spend a bit of time with them, Ren? I have to find Malt and Pepper anyway, though I don't know a few things about the game the panel. What, but? I don't think splitting up is a good idea at this moment. Bro's right, girl, let's have some fun. I don't know which one of you is worse, you work too much. No, wait, you don't understand, it's important. That's what all workaholics say, Rini. Come on, it's, a, it's game book time. Galvin, don't worry, this won't take me too long, I promise. Since I felt I wanted to protest by speaking up, I ended up nodding reluctantly. I'll make sure I don't take too long. It's decided. Time for some games come strolling. Right, as Kana alone and drangled their arms around mine and dragged me to visit some game booths, Galvin waved and quickly disappeared in the human tide. I'm still thinking about what the game said at the beginning of uh, what is being an adult. And adulthood and stuff like that, right? Because, I, as you know, I am an adult, but I still don't know how I'm, I'm doing it. Uh, that was so much fun. It took so many pictures. I bought so much merch, my wallet is crying right now. Yeah, it was an interesting old game, but again. Again? <laughs> uh, well, you know, since I cannot visit a few of Goblet's assistants. Hey, why am I always last lately? First, we have final with Meet Lana before us two, and now he's got to stroll around games with Ren before Lauren and I. Shut the mother, stop, stop it, no, don't talk like that, don't talk like that in real life, it's it's, it's barely okay on the internet, just don't do it in real life. Aren't you always first in Nario Kart? Well, you're also the one who introduced Rooney and I on Discord. Well, when you put it that way, I guess I'm a winner, aren't I? <laughs> I wonder if Galvin's finished already, I really need to find him soon. Oh hey, excuse me, that cosplay is right as hell, can I take a picture with you? <gasps> it's Zack! Out of the corner of my eye, I spot Mal and Pepper talking with each other at one of the nearby boots. Those guys are like, kinda sketchy. Can I learn we're busy taking pictures of a guy wearing a cosplay with a huge side, so I took the opportunity to approach the others. Mal, Pepper! Great, good timing, have you seen the boss? Uh, I thought he was with you. Didn't you meet him a few minutes ago? No, we actually thought he was with you as well, we haven't seen him at all today. What? Yes, the last time we talked to him was yesterday. We had a video call meeting at night. At night? It must have been before he took me home. Didn't he tell you he shared Saturday's schedule plan with the whole venue team in advance, mainly because we have to game the panel today? Yeah, he even let us explain ourselves to the lunch break incident, I guess he was still feeling bad about not listening to us. I didn't think he would be so shocked though. What do you mean? Well, you see, the one who actually suggested we go for a lunch break was Mr. Axter. Oh my god, so it really was him all along. Maybe he didn't know about the boss plans, but anyway, back at the issue, yeah, I know he was suspicious. Man, I really hope it's not the breaker plan. So, it, it was probably him too that stole the laptop. Well, it has to be, right? Or something similar, we're not getting any signal. Why well, he saved me touch my bags as a reflect, but then I remember. That's right, I forgot my phone, I can check. Uh oh. It's happening again. You just had the spice of the bad luck, didn't you? 
Oh shit, up salad, you're not even superstitious. Maybe I'm no, I'm I, it's mouth, mouth. I need to find Goblin. Can you tell my friends over there? Thank you. When? We we're waiting for an answer. I start running towards the crowd, and I'm gonna get separated from my friends again. Maybe that's the thing I don't have to do. I have to stay close to my friends. Where are you, Goblin? No wonder the equipment is functioning. The power generator is garbage. I have uh, everything's being repeated again. I want the soup from my forehead, and then through the reflection of one of the TV monitors, I saw it again. Black feathers, red eyes, clouds perched on a pillar. A crowd. Imbar the crowd. I glared. I will end this today. I didn't have the bad ending this time. I kept running. Mr. Rexter, please! That voice. Galvin's blood was coming from a secluded corner of the building. I'm afraid you lost me, my boy. What are you trying to say? Why did you hold the event in this building? Why? Because of its weight space, of course, not to mention the location where you're happy that we was such a great deal and managed to rent it. Please, please stop lying. You you weren't like this before. <laughs> Galvin, my boy, if you're not more articulate with your words, I won't understand what you mean. Understand? It's me who doesn't understand. Why is the rent for this building so cheap, a building of this caliber? After everything you told me, it just doesn't make any sense. Didn't it go through renovations? I see, so you saw it after all. Mr. Axler's smile dropped, then which would look at Goblin could only describe as sinister. You saw the email with the rent invoice. What? You really took me by surprise at that, you know? I thought everyone had already left the office by the time, but no good did to choose Goblin had the mole employee and show me the schedule for the event on the same fucking night I opened my mail. I didn't want to believe it. At first I thought it surely was just a mistake. Even after issues with the laptop and the converters, I didn't want to believe it. I thought maybe it was some other staff member that didn't like me. But? But working with Wayne, people and Mark, everyone on the venue team, I realized they're all very honest and sharp, hardworking people. It's just that the expectations I put on myself were so damn high that I don't further require the same of them. And they were right to hate me for it. Galvin. And when Malt and Pepper told me you were the one who told them to go on a lunch break when we were working against the club, I couldn't ignore it anymore. Seems the cat's off the back, hey my boy? You disappoint me, really. How do you expect me to survive in this world, honest work? Following the rules of people with probably only to, to benefit themselves? What's the point? That's, that's being a bad adult, by the way. The lights. The company hasn't been doing so well, Galvin. You know this. Why do you think we have a venue staff of merely 10 members? So I had to take matters into my own hands. The events we did before hardly had any people. And for a good reason. Why would travel to the middle of nowhere? However, then I came across a new building that was being made just for one block of Salty's Main Street. And it was going so well. But then the damn building manager suddenly wanted to do renovations out of nowhere. Because of some gut feeling in July, no less. But the July, the cost will have been so much and I won't have been able to afford the rent. So I made an arrangement to use the building in June. It was the perfect month to get more ticket buyers after all with the long weekend limit. And what not. I used to really admire you, sir. You are a big inspiration to me. But I can keep following a person who thinks the end justifies means. Ha! Huh. And what do you know, boy? You think I like to do this? Grow up, this is reality. Snap back to reality. Now wait. Yeah, this is this is a really bad adult. Never never trust someone that does this. I despise that kind of people. I had no choice but to do this. Those stupid words that ignore an asshole spot about how money doesn't bring happiness are bullshit. You can survive with money, and sometimes you need to get your hands dirty in order to get it. Well, okay, um as you guys know I'm always in, in financial trouble all the time. So I can tell you that yeah, you need money to survive and sometimes you have to do things you don't like to make the money But you have to have your own like moral code of things you can really can't do because Because you have to set an example for people in the future, right? You, you, the only way you can change the future is by putting a good example for people and sometimes you have to sacrifice yourself to do the good thing even if it doesn't give you money or stuff so yeah, I hate, I hate Axter. Um, enough! I finally got off my hiding place. Ren? Well, I agree with you about money being essential to survival, and it seems like you went through a lot. Your methods are just playing wrong. You're just not making excuses to justify all your wrongdoings. You're neglecting your responsibility as a CEO and harming people who put their trust in you and your decisions. 
You are both ignoring how much the employee you respects to the most overwork himself to the point of burnout. The only end that justifies the means over here is that you're sure <laughs> I see your ass for corruption and abuse before I punch you in the face. <laughs> chill out, Red. Chill out. I, I, I share the feeling, but chill out. Um, Galvin puts a hand on my shoulder. You need to do your hands, Ren. I'll sue him myself. I thought you were going to say, I'll punch him myself. We shall see, my boy. And then the lights went out. Damn. Galvin, we need to get out. For once, I agree with you, girly. Miss Axter didn't waste any time and push us out of the way. Ah. Ren, that coward. I'm fine, let's go with the others. As fast as we could, in the middle darkness, Galvin and I rushed to the main area, we began to feel slight tremors under our feet. Boss! Mod Pepper, no time explain. Please gather everyone from the Bainu team as fast as you can and evacuate everyone outside. On it! That's what I had in my mind too. The walls started. Oh yeah, they're, they are cracking. They are actually cracking. Let's run to the entrance before everything collapses. Right behind you. The first pillar fell dead. There were screams. A few steps in front of us, Pepper opened the entrance door while Malta and other members from the Bainu team evacuated as many people as possible. Another familiar face called up to us. Red, Galvin! Lonan, hurry, have to get out! I know, but can I? Galvin's face went immediately pale. Lona, where's my sister? She went to find you guys when the lights gave out. Damn. Wait, Galvin. He didn't even flinch. Galvin ran back inside. God damn it. I know, they are going to die, right? And I followed. Guys! Lona screamed, guys, far and far away the more, the more I moved my feet. Some people were still running around, but it seemed like most of them had managed to get out. Galvin, can I? <laughs> That's got the great pointed to all the destruction. And then I found them. Kana was down on the floor holding her ankle in pain. Galvin put her arm around his shoulder and began to make her stand. The gun shook even harder. I heard the disgust noise of pillar breaking. Unfortunately, I wasn't the only one because the next thing I saw was Galvin pushing Kana out of the way. Galvin! My pocket watch shined and quivered violently. Everything turned white. Okay, so this time he's going to die. Imbar! The second I regained consciousness, my hair turned left and right, desperately searching for the winged demon. It didn't take long to find him. Imbar was sitting in his usual spot near the tree stump. Looking characteristically amused, it seemed like I had just finished playing a game of cards. Welcome back, little bird. Imbar, the young building is collapsing and it help. Oh, whatever happened to that? It looks like you weren't able to prevent the fall. Prevent? Prevent how? If I had poor construction work so it wasn't suitable to hold an event like Gamescom, the building was bound to cave in, not to mention the electricity overload. Right, right. Please excuse my forgetfulness. You see. When you're a trying ripper such as myself, things can get a bit repetitive, if you will. I found it right off, though. This whole time Luke think it's odd. But I don't think I have much time. Goblin is going to die. Isn't there anything I can do? I don't know, little bird. Is there? You can't really stop an earthquake. What did you say? An earthquake? That's not possible. Social City is in a seismical area. Who said anything about a natural earthquake, huh? You experience problems with electricity too, yes? But that was... Let me add to something, little girl. How much energy do you think it requires to time loop? Don't you think after a certain amount of tries, things will inevitably start to change? Ah, or perhaps break is more accurate. Are you saying the building's collapse was caused by some kind of a space-time distortion? What? Precisely. Ah, but you were right about your suspicions. The building did collapse at one, or shall we say several points due to non-magical reasons. Just not in the style of the previous one. So I was really doomed from the start? Is this really the end? I won't be able to save Galvin? Pity, such a pity, and you were so close to. Eh? If only you had a piece to puzzle together, then maybe this could have been a different outcome. But alas, you didn't, I'm afraid you lost the game, little bird. The game? And now it's time to pay the price. No, this can be happening. Smiling, Imba raised his hand and began to approach me. I moved one foot back, then the other. Ah, the fairy tree behind me made me trip. Ah, you can run away from time, little bird. Nor me. I closed my eyes and held my pocket watch tightly. Wait, did I go to the bad game? But nothing happened. Gradually I opened my eyes, Imbar wasn't trying to reach me anymore, still he did not look happy. 
This is almost too easy. Huh? What's the point of winning the game if you don't beg me to make up with your time? If you don't beg to be with me? This is boring. Uh, I'm afraid you lost me. Uh, I have a better idea. Something about the way he said those words shook me to the core. Not even giving me a chance to reply, Imbar touched his fingers together and snapped. Ah, uh, my head. Wait, this is the first time I... Uh... I heard a scream right behind me. A scream full of anguish, a scream from a voice I recognized very well. I swallowed hard. My whole body was shaking violently. I need to turn around. I don't want to turn around. I need to see. I don't want to see. I need to know. As slowly as I could, my body turned to face the inevitable tragedy. A fallen pillar. A crushed person. A mourning sister crying for her brother to wake up. Damn. Oh, damn. I don't, I don't think I need to censor this because it's not too graphical, so I hope the video is okay. Galvin's lifeless eyes ga gazing at the floor where the pool of blood had formed from his wounds. No. This... This isn't the end. I... I can't steal. I took out my pocket watch and held tightly with both hands. Go back. Nothing. Go back. It didn't react. Help, please. I'm begging you. Oh, this is really nice CG, by the way. Right as I say those words, the pocket watch shined brightly and everything turned white. Yeah, that, this this guy is just messing with me. I couldn't do anything. Galvin. Uh. Seems like he just wants to make me suffer. I hear a few steps approaching it could be no other than him. Back so soon, little bird? It looks like you were able to enjoy the final scene before the end. Oh, and what's this? The talisman looks absolutely that luster. I guess the brightness that came from waiting was part of its charm, wouldn't you say? Wait, I did find another charm. Seems like I'm... Hmm, this game is full of mystery, it's really nice. Not so chatty, are we? Please. Hmm. Please, just make me forget. Take my soul or wherever the hell you need. I can't take this anymore. Oh, little bitter, I thought you never ask. But didn't I tell you? I'm not a Grim Reaper, I'm a Time Reaper. And now, so will you. What? Imbar's hand touched my forehead as I shut my eyes. Together until the end of time. Damn, I got the bad ending. Damn it. Um, stop time. This is close the game, right? So we can start the game, we can continue, we have options. We have the credits. So the Hummingbird's Crown, Otome Jam 2020. Director Yuki Pudding. Vice Director Pri Karin. Writer and Alien Pri Karin. Sprite Art K. KK. Concept and Sketch Yuki Pudding. Light Art and Color. CGR Yuki Pudding. UI Design. Achiki Miko. That's a, that's a really good UI design, by the way. Uh, art Glass Art and Chibi Art. Marcherine. Backgrounds Yuki Pudding. Sketch uh, Logo and Additional Art Yuki Pudding. Detective Gadget Character Art Bibi and Gunyu, Game Designer Yunki Pudding, Pre Karin and Mochi Pie, uh, Character Trailer Mochi Pie, uh, Programmer Mochi, SFX from Freedom Sounds, Version of Okay, so obviously, obviously, there's more. There's more to this game, obviously, because I'm, I'm missing quite a few CGs. Um. So, I think I'm gonna keep, uh, leave the game like this because it's been two hours and and I and I reached an ending. I think that's the only requirement for me to finish the to finish quote unquote the game. So I'm gonna try the rest of the endings or or choices I have in my own time because I, I need to make time for other games. Uh, but man, what a, what an amazing game this is! I think. I, I will. I think I say this quite often, but I think this is in like my my top twenty games, top ten games, maybe even that I have played. Especially visual novel. This is a really good visual novel because uh, it's really well written, looks really nice, and aside from that, because usually visual novels just look good and are properly written and stuff. But this one has a different mechanic, the the going back in time mechanic and the mementos and stuff that 
I, I truly believe that the only thing I didn't quite like about the game was the, the, the long explanation breaking the fourth wall about the, the mementos. I, I don't think you need that long of an explanation because uh, since it's really well made, you can understand what, what you need to do with less instructions. Maybe just a prop here and there of what to do would be enough. Uh, and you don't need to break the fourth wall because uh, this game is like so interesting, so mysterious that when they take you out of of that mystery, it really breaks the immersion, and that's not good because it's such a really good immersion. Uh, I mean, I really want to know what happens next, uh, but as usual, uh, I want you guys to play these games. Uh, that's the reason I make these videos, so you people can play these games. So, if you want to play this game, the link will be down in the description with all the games I have played so far. I hope you guys get a better ending than I did, because I think I got the worst ending. Um, man, this is such a good mystery. I'm. I love this game, I love it, this is such a good mystery, I I'm gonna see if the developer have other games, or I'm gonna wait. Th this is really nice, I don't know what to say, I, I, I know me saying it's really nice over and over again maybe doesn't amount to much, but just just the song, just listen to the song, it's really good, it's really mysterious, right, because th this whole thing is wrapped in mystery, and I was right about the CEO being the, the bad person. I more or less got the got the the mystery from the very beginning, but the mystery about the Time Reaper, that's the real mystery here. I know I say mystery a bunch of times. And I don't know man, I really want to save Galvin, he was such a nice dude. Um, I didn't really f notice when I ended up in the in a date with, when, quote unquote, in the road of Galvin, because I wanted to date his sister. Uh, but yeah, I, I feel that there's like two other routes right in this game and maybe six endings, like one good ending and one bad ending for each of the three routes. I don't know, I'm gonna check the each page later and play the game more, but um, I'm gonna stop talking now so you guys can go and download this game. Thank you guys for watching, thank you developer for making this game, I really really thank you because it's an amazing game. I will see you guys in the next indie game or stream. Goodbye.